If we'd like to start the wardrobe edit um, with some of those pieces that you don't know what to do with. Okay. So if you can pull out something that maybe you bought and has been sitting here for a while and you don't know how to style, maybe you bought it and you're like, I regret it, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, let's think. So there's actually one I bought quite recently. Um, so it doesn't really fit me that well, mm -hmm. but I really loved the colour on me. Mm -hmm. It's very like baby pink. Yeah. But this um, colour, like, it comes down like a lot. Okay. And I'm never sure how to style it. It has these like ribbons at the back. Mm -hmm. and I think I tried to like tuck in. Right. But yeah, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. I think as you were saying before, if you don't like attention being drawn to your bus, yeah. This shape is definitely for someone a bit more busty. Okay. Because if it's going to be kind of open, mm -hmm. it's going to kind of need that like, kind of filling and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is maybe do a bit of layering with it to add some interest. Okay. So do you have like any tops that you like but maybe with a pattern? Um, could be long sleeve. With a top that would go like here, yeah, or even a high neck could be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Take the stripy ones, for example. Yeah, I've got, I think I have the black, yeah, I've got the black turtle in mm -hmm. um, and white. Yeah, this, this stripy one. Yeah. So this is a way of doing it. When you pair these together like this, you've almost created a new dress because it looks like it's part of the dress. Mm. Yeah, it's really different. Yeah, and it can also work having like a stripy sleeve come out as well if you had a longer version. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to try on this combo. Yeah, yeah. Cool. See what it looks like. Just trying to see if there's another one that would work with your colours. Mm -hmm. there as well. Should I to type? Um, so I would say with the one like this, there's actually loads of different ways of tying it. So I'd say it's probably nice to keep it quite flat. Okay. You could have a tie in the middle. Oh, that's cute. And it could be, you could just kind of move them around to the side as well. This is quite nice actually for the volume. So because there's quite a bit of detail, you've got detail on your waist, you've got detail here, kind of draws the eye around as well. And then you've got that kind of interest on the neck as well. Also it's kind of interesting how this is picking out. Yeah, it is picking out too, yeah. So you've kind of made quite a unique combination really. Hmm. Like it shows a bit of creativity that you've put those two together. How do you feel in this one? Yeah, I really like it. I actually, I love the fabric um, it's made in. It's really like loose for summer, mm -hmm. so not too hot or anything. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> and what's nice as well about the waist being in the same colour as the dress is it's not drawing the eye there too much. Yeah. Like if this were a bright red, that would be the first thing we'd see. Okay. So, pretty good fit. Nice then. So this is something you feel like you could maybe keep now if you were thinking of giving it away? Uh, yeah, 
actually, yeah, the frame, yeah. Yeah, I really like it actually with the... I never would have thought to put this one under it, but it makes it much more unique. Yeah, and now it kind of looks like it's almost like it's the dress, like if anyone didn't know. Yeah, I noticed you had one as well. Oh, yeah, yes. that was it, sorry. I had the same top with like black stripes instead. Yeah, you could definitely do both. Mm -hmm. So like maybe with the black, that kind of, because there's black in it, that gives you the opportunity to wear black elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to wear a black shoe, you could. Maybe this one I would keep all like pale, so maybe you have a nude shoe, maybe you have a pink or a white shoe, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, so I was trying to see if there are any other tops as well that you could keep in, like you, that you could pair underneath that maybe you haven't thought of before. That's another one of actually my um, troublesome tops, because yeah, I never know what to do with the like heart shape here, especially as I wear a lot of like crop tops instead of bras, it just... And you don't like showing the flesh here? No, I don't really know what to do with it. Okay, so I don't think it can go under them because it would still so show the flesh. We'll work on this one next. This just makes a whole new look. Yeah. So this could even make it more casual. Yeah. So like that's quite classy, but this is quite fun. If you wanted to make it quite fun, try it on. Oh wow, that's really fun. So yeah, like... You can really play with the spell however you want to, like, I feel like there's a lot going on if you had it in the middle. The side is quite subtle, it draws your eye other places. Or you could remove the whole thing. I mean, I know you can still see that. But you can also tie it around the back. especially. This under top has quite a lot going on, right? Yeah. So it has the heart, it has all, like, there's a lot going on already. Mm. So if you tie it at the back, yeah, you can already see your waist from the line on the dress, but your eye is still going to that, which is quite fun. And like, if you have long sleeved versions of these, like, that can be a really fun combo to have it's coming out as Yeah, well. in winter it would be nice as well because it means I can wear a summer dress in winter. Yeah, because I say with like dresses, I think they're all year long, really. Okay. So like for the one I'm wearing, for instance, I wear this in the winter as well. Right mm -hmm. now I've got nothing under it, but okay. a lot of the time I put stuff under or over it. Mm -hmm. So I can put a jumper over the top of it yeah. and it looks like I've just got skirt. Put something underneath it, it's quite 90s, it's quite grungy. So I feel like this is quite grungy, almost the unexpectedness. Yeah, definitely. But um, it could also be quite fun with a long sleeve, like you've got quite a few long sleeves as well. Yeah. Um, I think due to the colour analysis as well, I think it'd be quite nice to keep it all quite light for what you're going for underneath. But yeah, I think there are quite a few options. And then if you like, yeah, I think when it gets colder as well, if you think about, like, if something has, like, a neck like this, or a high neck or something, it could probably go underneath. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I have quite a few of these sort of short tops that can go underneath. Yeah. So I have a play and get creative with it. So yeah. Creative with the bar. Um, so one of the troublesome pieces you were also thinking of was this one, right? Yeah. So the issue here is that this is see-through, yeah. you'd rather not show Yeah, skin. like I love the design of it when yeah. it's not on me, <laughs> but the moment I put it on it's just like really awkward to wear, even with a bra, like it's a bit see-through. Mm, okay, that's a tough one, because I think that means that you need another top underneath to make it work, right? Yeah. And I think you, you just want to be wary that it matches and it doesn't clash. I'd say as well, it probably can't have too much of a neckline because this is already a neckline. Mm. You probably want it to almost have be a plain top. Okay. I'm almost wary with this one. That there's a bit of detail here and the top's quite thin so you probably still see it through. Do you have like any just 
completely plain tops at all? Uh -huh. Very good question. I'm not sure I do. Like this uh, type of thing? Yeah, actually. That would probably be one way. Because this has basically nothing. It's pretty unoffensive. It should mm. slip just underneath. Okay. Um, so maybe you want to have an experiment. We'll do these two and then we'll pair it with a thumb bottom. Mm. <laughs> so we've got yellow and green. We're probably looking to pair it with something that's got a little bit of that in it. Is there like a skirt or a bottom that you really love? Um, in winter I was quite obsessed with um, this one. I really liked it. Okay. Do you really wear it in the winter time? Yeah, it's a bit like bulky for summer, I think. Oh, sorry, there's so many clothes that are falling down. Sorry. Sleeve, so you could wear it in the winter. Let's see. You can't really sell them when the zips are broken, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm, and it's hard to get that kind of thing away because then it's like... Yeah, I usually, if I wear it, I have like a long tab when I go for it so that the zip isn't seen. But I really like the print, mm -hmm. so I just kind of cover it up. And then it's nice because I don't have a tight skirt on, <laughs> which is why I still have it. It's quite nice for the home, I guess, as well, if you just want to sit with an open back skirt. Yeah. Like, this would be something I would turn into a handbag. If you, like, know anyone that can sew, because yeah. it's quite a good amount of fabric, and it hasn't had that much done to it. Okay. So, like, it's the kind of thing, like, you could literally cut two heart shapes yeah. out of it and sew them together, and you have a handbag. That's so cool, yeah. If you know someone. Um, so should we try this combination for now and yeah. see how crazy it is? Thank you. It looks <laughs> like you're like in a K-pop girl band. It does, it really reminds me of like that like Japanese Korean style. Like I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I feel like with this one as well, you just kind of need to align the necklines a little bit. Like, yeah, it's got that kind of interest as well, and it kind of looks like you've layered it up as well. Sleeves look quite fun. Yeah, I actually love the heart. Now that I don't have to worry about it just being on skin, like it's it's really nice. So, like, I would say maybe for your shopping list afterwards, if you want more ways to make that top work, is if you look at just kind of a few plain long wolf short sleeve t-shirts that can be layering tops mm -hmm. like even for that pink dress before yeah so if you're looking at tops like something that doesn't have too much could be nice to sit underneath i don't see why you can't wear a stripe underneath that or a floral yeah yeah it's really cute i'm happy it's got me like yeah, but I've, I've never actually properly worn it before, so I'm happy. Yay. It's a present from a friend, and I was like, oh, what do I do with this? <laughs> and you can turn up to the friend's house and be like, I've done look. look. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. And like, so like, I don't know about shoes, like what you have, but like, yeah. in the outfit, there's no black in there. It's like, it's. I would say it's actually leaning more towards autumn, even though you've got the spring, well, the springy, summery yellow underneath your face, which is good. But like when you're pairing it with a shoe, like pick out kind of what's in that palette. Okay. So like if you have a shoe with a bit yellow, a bit blue, like there's even white in here, there's brown, there's gold. Mm -hmm. So like when you're pairing the outfit, that's what you would think about. Like even when you have a bag, like does my bag have brown and gold in it? That kind of thing. Okay. Um, so I've also, just in case that one didn't work, if you don't mind, mm. I'd like to give you a few more options. These could also work with it. Okay. So, you were saying that one's quite a thick fabric. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit too hot for uh, summer, I think. Yeah. And it looks very wintry. Yeah, it's quite yeah. a wintry look. So 
So like this is a kind of lighter one that could be really fun. Mm -hmm. See how it's kind of still in the same colour language? Yeah. That could be really fun. And you yeah, could still wear sure. that now. Yeah. And it's a bit more of an autumn-y one, but I thought it's quite fun colour-wise. Yeah, I actually love the two colours together. It's really yeah. cute. So like when you're pairing it all together, you're like, how do these three look together? They're all kind of telling the same story. So that could be really fun as well. Just okay. to give you a few more options. I never would have thought of that myself. That's, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really fun. And like, so yeah, just like going forward if you want to play with it more, like play with different undertops and see what kind of skirts go with the undertop as well. Yeah. So like these skirts I feel like will go with this green sleeve you have. Okay. Um, but depending what top on like you put underneath could also change like most of these skirts could really go. Oh, Say you had like a black and white striped top underneath that. Yeah. That could then bring you into some of these like black base bottoms. No reason you can't wear that with, a, with like a jean. That oh, could be okay. quite cool, like tucked in with the Yeah, the jeans I had on earlier I think would go really well with this. Yeah. And that gives it that kind of like 90s scrunchy vibe as well. They were quite into layering like that with the short sleeve. Yeah, that. I really like it. <laughs> I never would have thought to do it, but yeah, it's really cute. I like, I feel like that green top again could go underneath that pink dress. Oh yeah, it could. It'd be quite fun with the long sleeve. Yeah. That's yeah, really nice. Do you want me to, should I try these ones on or do you? Uh, can I take a picture of this look? Oh, which yeah. I'll send to you, maybe if you hold the two skirts. And then what you can do, these are quite nice, like as a reference. So like sometimes I don't know you like get a bit confused like oh, I can't remember what goes with what yeah and then you like look at this picture of yourself and you're like oh okay I remember that it goes with that and that and the other yeah that's really it's helpful actually quite nice. and you, it's also really useful to see on a picture like I sometimes struggle to see if it goes with my eyes but yeah. the moment I see it in a picture I'm like oh I actually love this one like it's yeah. really easy to see that can really help you when you're pairing it for the future as well. Yeah. Sometimes when you're playing like in your wardrobe and you're like, I'm not going to remember this later, yeah. then you just take a picture and the picture doesn't have to have you. Like sometimes I take flat pictures. Okay. Like I've just laid it all out, like one really long line with the shoes and the handbag and everything and just uh -huh. put like a picture. That can be really useful. Yeah, it would be. I've never thought to do that actually. That would be really helpful. Um. Yeah, I don't know if you want to show me something else, Sure. Yes, yeah, of course. This one. That's a really interesting piece as well. Yeah, because it's, it's a lot shorter than like I expect it to be. Mm -hmm. And because it's so wide, Yeah. unless I tuck it into something, like all of my wide skirts make me look like, like I'm going outwards too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm never really sure how to style it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well let's have a play with that one then. The aim, I think, really is to tuck it in, yeah. otherwise you will appear wider. Okay. And you do look more in proportion when you're sort of when it's tucked in and you can see your hips. Maybe you want to wear one of your neutrals, these lighter colours with it, which is fairly similar colour to the top. Okay. So like one long line of colour. Yeah. Your eye isn't going to the bottom too much, it's going to go more on the top. So you want kind of a colour that someone will pass over so that not too much focus is on the bottom. Okay. These both have a high waist, which is nice, so you can tuck them in. But there's not too much detail, so we're not focusing on them. We want to focus on the top more. Um, so I think one of these could be quite nice. Um, I would say actually maybe this one, because this one's got buttons on the front, so the eyes still might be drawn. Okay. But maybe like a plain neutral skirt yeah. would keep the focus on the top half of your body. So maybe that's a good way. 
take the eye where we want it to go. Um, and I'd say maybe as well, if you want the eye to go up to the top. Maybe it's a little bit about accessorizing as well. I know you don't have your ears pierced right now, yeah. but maybe sometimes it's something like that, or like something in your hair, or that kind okay. of thing. That is a good way of getting people yeah. to look up. I mean, already this is really interesting, and you want to look here. Yeah, I mean, I can see which, I've got some hair bands if I can see afterwards which go maybe. Yeah. Well, like, do you have any necklaces that would fall here? Um, I have like a little selection. Um, this green one, it's a bit long. Um, it's like a little floral one. Mm -hmm. But it, it comes down a little bit. Ooh. That could be worth a try. Yeah. It's probably good. Color wise, it looks quite nice. <laughs> yeah. There's already so much detail. Yeah. I think these two will probably be okay. So okay. I'm gonna try these ones on next. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah, I think that really helps as well, like definitely needed to be tucked into the waist. And it's nice that the skirt's quite simple. Yeah. I think like these flat fronted ones are quite nice as well, because you're not looking at any zips, you're not looking at any buttons, you're not looking at any pockets, the focus is entirely on the top. Mm -hmm. um, so what you could do as well is you could, I don't know if you have anything colourful, you could play that to the advantage and like have a pink underneath and be intentional with it as well. Ah, yeah, because I guess it like draws the eyes here as well. Yeah, so. that could be your detail. I don't think you actually need any necklace. There's okay. already quite a bit going on there as well. That's good. I always forget to wear necklaces. <laughs> so. Yeah, sometimes necklaces are best with like a plain top. But I think already enough attention is going up the top with this one. Mm -hmm. Like, you could shoes-wise pair it with a lot of things. You've got a white, you've got a neutral, you've even got a black. You can, whatever colour is underneath here, you can pair with as well. I mean, there's no reason why in the winter you can't have a long sleeve underneath it. Okay. For a bit of interest, really play with layering up this see-through. Yeah. Like you could have like a long sleeve, like what we had earlier, the long sleeve green is underneath it. Yeah. And then it looks like an entirely new top. Yeah, so it's like I could wear it twice in the same week, but it wouldn't necessarily be obvious. Yeah. Much. Yeah. So like maybe like to have more fun with it, play with different undertops. I mean, skirt wise, we want something a bit more subtle. This one may, I mean, there's a bit of detail, so it's probably still going to be looking at it. I mean, this one's fairly, like a block, a plain block colour is probably best. Yeah. Let that be the show talking piece. Okay. Um, plain black skirt even. That could mm. work. Mm. Like a, the plain ones, I think. A good brand for really good, plain, hard-working pieces, so Uniqlo. Oh, okay. They have, like, quite a few and you can really pick a colour that you like mm -hmm. so like how this is nice how they're kind of really similar mm -hmm. so the bottom like a really light blue skirt could be nice like baby blue yeah some of your pastel colours on the bottom could be really lovely and then the outfit looks really fresh yeah so like baby pink baby yellow oh that'd be really cute a lilac a yeah. mint like I feel like this is really flattering as well like as you were saying you're not a fan of your hips yeah. What's really nice about it is it's so simple, it's not, your eye is here, it's not here. Yeah. And it's, we're, because it's so neutral, we're looking at the top anyway, so, like, just a plain one coloured skirt is really good at that. I feel like this is a really nice look for, like, work and stuff like that as well. Looks quite professional. That's yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like how squishy this guy Yeah. <laughs> And it like, kind of like when you tuck them in like that, it's almost like it's a dress, which is quite nice. Yeah, it does, it feels really like they are one, even though they're two different items of clothing. They do, yeah. they go together really well. It's, it's amazing though, because I never would want them together, like your really? eyes are really good for it. Oh, that's like, good. Yeah, I always get stuck with this one. I think 
I think I might have played, like, done a black skirt yeah. before, but I would want to. Yeah, just because I don't know what, like, black's quite safe if yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, and, like, black on the bottom is fine, it's not underneath your face. Yeah. Since we've seen that white colours really suit you, mm. could be nice for, like, an all one colour neutral, like, even, like, a long grey skirt could be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Good for you. Um, yeah, is there anything else you want to try? Mm. Difficult. But now I have to think about it. I have so many difficult ones. <laughs> it's okay. That's what I'm here for. It's the creative solution. very like unlike me like mm -hmm. I, I just don't know like I feel like I look really short in it okay despite it being like all one color I think I don't know I just yeah. Something like yeah I never really know what color to go here because I have to wear something under it okay but I, I never know what so I just I don't really ever wear it so you usually have to wear something under it yeah Ooh. Blue is one of your neutrals, this shade of navy. So I always like to match the metals. Is this a silver or gold? That's silver, isn't it? I think so, yeah. So we probably want to keep. That's quite nice. I feel like I could actually be quite low. This could be quite fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you've got actually quite a few shirts. Is, what do you usually put underneath it? Um, I think I used to use this when I did work. Oh yeah, that works as well. Kept it very plain. Yeah. yeah. I think you could have quite a bit of fun with it. <laughs> it's already got quite like a bit of detail here. Yeah, so we probably don't want to have too much fun. Even that. Out loads. <laughs> I feel like it's very versatile. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice actually. Just like loads. Do you have a word stripe one underneath it? Um, no, I've never worn one under it. I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh, everything. <laughs> you find all the ones that like, I kind of forgot existed. <laughs> I think Sometimes. I just thought it was quite useful. Yeah, I wear the same clothes very often. I feel like everyone has these kind of like comfort clothes as well. Yeah. Orange. I do love this turtleneck. Yeah. So do you usually put a turtleneck underneath it? Um, I literally, I've only ever really worn it with this one. Um, so, because I wore it a few times and I was just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. So I'm going to stick away from your comfort zone, I think. Um, I would say actually most of the tops could work underneath, so it depends how you're feeling. This could be a really fun look. This would be quite a wild look. I don't know if you ever wear it with like an actual winter jumper, but definitely wear it in the winter if you wanted to. A blouse underneath could be quite a lot. I'm hoping to make this a piece that you just wear with all of your shirts in all the time. It's really nice. It's like in the blue family as well. Yeah. And then what would be quite nice as well, because this has got a tie neck, when you tie it and it's just kind of draped over the front, that would be a bit of interest as well. 
I think this one's really classic and you couldn't go wrong. Really, with that underneath it as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'd say these would all work. Is there any out of these that you're like, oh, I want to give that a go? I'm really curious about this one actually. Like, I've only ever worn it with trousers, so. Okay. I've never realised I could layer it. So, yeah, I'm quite curious about this one. Let's see what you think. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do with them. There's like a ribbon here, but I'm not really oh. sure if it goes at the front or like where it goes. So it, it appears to be you've got it tied together oh. like that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, is it part of the strap? I'm really not sure. It might go around here, yeah. I honestly don't remember what it's in on. So you've got these kind of button straps here, which I think makes it adjustable, um. which is quite nice. So if you wanted to, you could have these straps tighter. Oh, okay. Just tuck them in for now. But yeah, it helps if you want to make it any shorter. But you can just bring it up here. I think it's, so it kind of, it's where the straps meet the back. So if you tie like a bow in it, in itself, it just kind of looks like an, ex like an, an extension of the straps. Oh, okay. They could be tied into themselves, or they could be tied together. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so you tie them together in a bow. Sometimes with these things, if you tie it once, since it's on the back, you don't need to worry because it's all tied up. Yeah. yeah it's just like an interesting back detail. Oh my gosh. It makes me feel really tall actually. It's really yeah. weird. It's that whole long line of colour thing. Mm. Just making you look like really, like, it makes your legs look really long as well. Yeah. And because it's in at the waist and showing that you have a waist, it's like it's showing how long your legs are. So if you're like, oh my god, her leg starts from here. <laughs> her leg is so long. And it's nice that there's like, there's nothing going on in the middle, which is nice for the hip because it's like, okay, the eye is literally drawn to these buttons up here. Yeah. I feel like it's a really nice winter outfit. Yeah, it's it's nice and cosy as well, actually. It's really breathable. Yeah, I feel like, especially like for workwear and stuff, it's quite nice to wear like a jumpsuit. Because it's it's like it's like wearing a dress, but there's a bit of a different take on it. So it's a bit interesting. Mm. It's comfortable. I don't know if you'll be doing anything where you have to like <laughs> be active or kick or like if you're going somewhere interesting afterwards, it's like a bit physical. But yeah. it's just the smart as a dress and a bit like chic and a bit cool. Um, but I feel like this is really nice. The grey jumper. Yeah, that, it's really comfy actually. Like both of them together. Yeah, it's very movable and. Like, yeah, you really have to think about it, which is nice. Like rather than if there's like a ribbon here, you have to like worry if it's still tied up or yeah, it's pretty on and off. Yeah, yeah, I can really see myself wearing it to work in the winter. Like it's the perfect amount, of kind of like warm and cozy. Yeah, like it's very breathable. I feel like as well, if you don't want to show the skin here, mm -hmm. probably the normal. Like the expected way to wear it would just be to wear that on its own with a cardigan. Yeah. But if you don't like showing skin, then putting something underneath gives you just the same amount of warmth. Like in the summer, you could wear it with all of your short sleeve t shirts, and the mm -hmm. winter, all of your jumpers. Yeah. I think it's quite versatile. These were the other ones that I picked. Like in the warmer weather, this would be really fun. Yeah. Um, and you've got like a few jumpers that could be really nice. Like, you're kind of keeping with the icy colours. This one's quite fun and the colour could be like quite nice as well. Cause, like with this one the colour details quite nice together. And the shirts are quite like good for like mid-season. This could be quite nice. Say like you wanted to wear this in the winter, you could still have a shirt and a cardigan over the top. Okay. So like maybe this, but then you pick out one of the colours from the floor for the cardigan. 
So like if you have a cardigan with a bit of pink or a bit of light blue or white or grey and like keeping that kind of icy story. Like I feel like your eyes look really nice with all this like blue and grey and like icy colour going on. Mm -hmm. I so <laughs> think these could be quite good fun with it too. Um, so I don't know if you wanted to try them or if we can just, if you wanted just a few pictures. Oh yeah, so picture might be nice. I always feel like wardrobe edits are like you're getting new clothes for the like yeah. old clothes. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like finding things that were like buried within the... Yeah. I don't know if it'll help like when you're putting them back in the wardrobe to pair them with some of the pieces, but then you also mm. have the photographs, so... Yeah. Whatever helps like jog your memory and like... Sometimes like if it's something I've forgotten about, I'll just move it to the front of the wardrobe. Okay, so that's smart. Remember. Yeah. Yeah, I really should move them about a bit more because I end up having my favourites all in one place and just not yeah. wearing much else. So. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to try? Yeah, so it's all the difficult things, isn't it? So yeah. This one is very difficult, but mainly because I think it's too big for me. Like, okay. like I said about not liking to show this area. Yeah. Unfortunately, so like I thought when I bought it, it was more like that. Right. But it actually hangs really, really low. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I feel like all of them are just going to be stacking. But it, it comes down far too low for I comfort. See. And it's quite loose as well. Okay. I really don't know how to style it. Mm, okay. Um, so there are a few things you could do with it. What's really good about it, it has a zip. Which mm -hmm. means we could just. Does it open? Yep. Yes. Okay. We could have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> we could pair something underneath it and make it very intentional. Okay. So, like before, how we had the stripe, how we had something fun underneath it. Maybe it becomes a bit of a fun item with something un underneath it. I feel like for you, everyone has like pieces in their wardrobe that work really hard. I feel like you could do with some really hard working long sleeve or like under tops for things to make all those low ones work for you. Let's see if there's something that would work. This one's gonna work very hard. <laughs> this top. Mm. That could be quite fun. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is pair it with something black on the bottom. Oh, okay. And you have quite a few black buttons, so it's not gonna be too hard. I would say this outfit, because you've you know, you've done something like this, it's actually maybe more of a day look. Let's give this one a shot. Do you like this one much? Yeah, it's really, it's really comfy. Oh, it's really cute actually. And then it's got the white stitching which picks that out. So it's almost like a kind of neutral with a pop of colour outfit. Does it take is being tucked into it. Oh uh, yeah, it should do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that Ooh. tucked in could be quite a fun, again I've gone quite like street style yeah. with this one for you. You could really have some fun with it like when you're like out with your friends, like I don't know how, like what kind of tights and stuff you have. I don't have any ripped ones, just plain like black ones. Yeah. But I can put them on as well if that goes. And that's up. That's up to you. What you what you feel like. I mean, if you can imagine it, if you want to see it, what could be really nice is since it's black, and you'll have a black tie, mm -hmm. and if you wore it with a black shoe, it would make your bottom half look really long, mm -hmm. which would be quite nice. Um, because these are all quite short sleeved, you could yeah. just wear this in summer as an outfit. Yeah. And just like wear it with the trainer, wear it with the just a boot. Yeah. I feel like it's quite rock and roll. Love it. Yeah, like I'm going to a concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll try it on without the tights for now, just because yeah. it's so hot. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'll definitely try it on another time with the tights. Yeah. yeah. I could pop it on. How do you feel in this one? Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> I've never really worn any style like this before. Like it's, yeah, it feels quite like, I don't know how to describe it, like I'm going to a concert or like really casual, like street. Yeah, it's um, quite edgy. Edgy, that's the word. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's kind of your direction. I mean, I love it. Like I've never worn this kind of clothing before, so I feel yeah. really cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's quite creative, it's quite fun, and like, because you're, you know, into Korean street style and K-pop, like, I feel like it's very, like, girl band kind of <laughs> vibes. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you were out in Harajuku and you had this look on, like, you'd be in. That's <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Sometimes, like, the fun layering is that's where you have that, like, creative edge that makes you like, oh, I'm a bit different. Mm. Look, I've like, pared this top open, I'm really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. What's also quite nice as well, if you're not so busty, mm. is you've got a lot of detail going on the bust as well. Mm. So it's making the bust kind of appear a bit more fuller and it's like drawing your attention up because it's so interesting. Yeah. yeah there's just so much to look at on the top. Yeah. It's like a stripe, a sleeve, mm -hmm. a zip. Yeah. <laughs> I love the zip being down as well, actually. It's really cool. Yeah, I feel like it's just like given that, like, because this top like could be quite like a basic, mm. but I feel like now it's become like quite a cool layering piece. Yeah, I never would have thought to use it like this, but it's really cool. And you can take credit for it when you're out there. Oh my god, you're right. Like, it's, it's quite a <laughs> you know, like, stylist. <laughs> um, yeah, and also like the plain bottom means that like yeah, we're looking at the top. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that could be a fun way. And like in the winter, like maybe something to be to look for would be a long sleeve version of the same top. Okay. And then you can do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's already quite cool that the sleeve is poking out. Yeah, it's a neat top this one actually. <laughs> yeah, I think you could get a little wear out of it. I'm like, um, I'm not sure where it's gone, but you know you had the version with the greens. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. That could do this look in a different colour way could do the green version of the look. Yeah. Like, do you have... Hmm. Something plain. Hmm, wrong green. Do I have Not necessarily. Should we take a picture of that? Oh yeah, good point. So we can remember as well. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Alright, so I put the green one on and then the jeans. Yeah. This is fun. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I feel like it's like just as cool as the other look. But like, even like that, the other one was like very concert. Mm. This is like pretty like chill, like see a friend, but also I'm still quite fun. Yeah, and I love these jeans. They're so like easy to wear. That yeah. I can imagine it being like a really easy to put on outfit. Like, yeah. Very casual. So you won't feel that you've got a top over a top because it's such a light top and it's being worn so open. Yeah. Whereas I guess just this and just this can be a bit plain. Yeah. Whereas Nice actually, but the yellow adds some colour. Yeah, it's like you put like a bit of effort in, you dress up and you've done something interesting, but it's still super comfortable. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to grab that one. <laughs> Sometimes, like, you do a wardrobe edit and they'll be giving everything away. Yeah. Like bags and bags, but I feel like we've helped you love a lot of things. <laughs> oh, and I'm really glad because I really don't want to throw anything away. <laughs>
Because I feel like even the stuff um, I don't wear often, like there was always a period of time where I did wear something. Yeah. It's just over time I feel like I've either grown out of it or I don't know how to like make it work for work anymore. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, it feels too sad for him to stuff away. Yeah, I think if you can still make something work, then it's worth keeping. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, anything else? I think there's one final one that yeah. like bothers me. Yeah. But then after that, like I'm running out of like the worst ones. <laughs> but yeah, it's this I just have no idea how to wear. I don't mm. think I'm, I bought it and I never wore it. Like after I wore it, like ever. I loved the lace mm -hmm. um, and the colour, mm -hmm. but I just I don't understand how to make it look good. It's just. Mm -hmm. So is it V on the front? That's the front. Is the V? Yeah, this. Mm -hmm. this, I think this is the back, where it's intended to be. Interesting. Like if we were shopping, that isn't a piece I would have necessarily picked up for you. Mm. Like you were saying, I think the V isn't really your kind of neckline. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I think I actually had brown hair at the time, and the browny redness of my hair might have gone really well with this colour, yeah. which made me want to buy it, rather than actually the design of it. I just like the lazy look with my hair, whereas now I'm blonde again, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Bit of a troublesome one. That one's going to be tricky, <laughs> I think. How can we make it work? <laughs> That'd be wild. Really, like, it would be a lot, I think. <laughs> difficult piece. I feel like it needs you thing up somehow. Mm. Possibly. Because it's got the same colour in it. Mm. I just wonder if this style is a bit older for you. Maybe it needs more than just a skirt. I think it needs something you can put over it. Hmm. Do you have many cardigans at all? Um, yes. Unorganised pile yeah. of them. <laughs> I usually have them at the bottom. Because um, they take up a lot of room. So I don't know. Hmm, I think not black. It's a nice cropped one though. Hmm. Possibly blue. Yeah. That one's actually my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> but she gave it to me. Could it be nice? Looking for something just to kind of youth it up a bit, I think. The colours are all great though, they're all kind of in the same story. Yeah. Well, this is quite an oversized one. Yeah. So it kind of like drags down. It's, it's similar to that cream one. I think they're the same but different colours. They're oh, a bit interesting. baggy. Let's to the side. The colours are quite autumn -y. But they're yeah. not near your face, so it's not really a problem, I think. Yeah, I'd say these are going to be your most useful, fun ones. Okay. Yeah, it's a tricky top, but it's worth a shot. So maybe this. And this on top is a cardigan. Okay, let's see what it does.
Wow. Okay, I had low expectations, but it's pretty good. Oh, that's good. What do you think? I feel like it reminds me of the, the colour of like autumn leaves yeah. when they fall down. Like these two very to me. Yeah. I'm just putting that one off a bit. Yeah, I mean, my bra does kind of like add black to it a bit, which yeah. I guess I could try to get rid of. But Yeah, it would probably be better without, I think. Mm -hmm. But it has improved it. <laughs> That's good. What do you think? Have you seen it? Yeah, I really like it. I, I would never have realised that it went so well with this jacket. Like, yeah. It had so much brightness to it. Yeah. That I really like. I feel like, like so far what I've been doing is kind of making kind of moods out the coloured outfits. This feels quite like an autumn-y look, mm. which isn't necessarily your season but that doesn't mean you can't wear an outfit in it away from your face mm -hmm. um so i feel like it's quite nice that they're kind of all sitting together pretty well and i feel like the shorter skirt makes it more fun and more youthful and like the chunky and knit makes it more fun and youthful mm -hmm. and like especially since this isn't too long as well yeah because like if it were too long as well that would be a kind of older style we've kept it all quite short quite playful and quite girly yeah it does it does feel really girly actually it really actually like looks it. quite dressed up like, I love it. if you were like out for like a nice evening out mm -hmm. um what would be really nice to the little necklace here yeah it would be that one this one yeah i mean i know your jewelry color is silver and war so like the outfit's quite gold and autumn so that has a little bit of gold in it that way mm. it could even be a bit shorter Oh, is there another one back there? If you can see. Ah, oh, no, it's just yeah. that one, isn't it? Look, put it back a bit. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, and then that. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such like a feminine look. <laughs> it's really nice. I feel like the whole look is like very sweet and like creamy and nice. And, like yeah. the cream, yeah, I think the cream's better than the orange there. Yeah. So it like, makes it quite yeah, nice. Like, be even more autumn leaves, I think. Yeah. It's quite nice to keep it light. I'd say, like, without the black underneath it as well, if you can, like, even just, like, a cream or white or a neutral or something that, like, doesn't show up too much. So I think this is quite nice that it's all kind of in the same. Yeah, I do so, have this in white, actually. Oh, so yeah, white would work. be perfect. Yeah, I love it. I love how girly it is. Like, I, I feel really comfortable in it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay. It's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, actually, it makes my legs look longer as well, which I, I enjoy. <laughs> Short skirts do that, especially yeah. like being high waist, because then you're like, if her legs start from that high up, they're just like <laughs> so long. Yeah, this is a great look. Yeah, I, I'm the same as you, I had like zero expectations yeah. for this one. I was like, oh, can I make that top work? <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. Not bad. Yeah, I think actually, with that top, if you can like make it as youthful as possible, it's going to be the short skirts. Mm. Okay. So maybe even, what was that? Like the check skirt from before could be good. Yeah, and it's like, it's got all the colours in it. Oh yeah, wow, that goes really well. Yeah. I love that. For autumn. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I feel like making you autumn winter look seems to be quite easy. <laughs> I'm really comfortable with, I mean, England's cold half, yeah. more than half the year, so this is what I, most of my closet, I and mean, this is my summer clothes, yeah. but most of my stuff is really like this kind of like played, dark, warm clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I love this so much. Wow, thank you so much. I've literally never been able to wear this once. <laughs> That's a win. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I can photograph that one as well. Yeah. So you Sad, I probably can't really wear it yet because it's a bit too, like, autumn. Yeah. <laughs> and the skirt you've got on now, that's quite thin. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too, it's not hot at all. Yeah. This is the top that I would say is like probably on the hanger looks like an older piece mm -hmm. but I think it's just what you do with it to make it young I think with the longer skirts it will probably look 
to our old. Yeah. But, but like now it's become really cute and really feminine and really like girly. Yay. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Um, yeah, so anything else or...? Yeah, so that's like all my like problem pieces mm -hmm. done, so yeah, they're still like stuff I kind of recycle like all the time, mm -hmm. or I just, I don't like stack them, I just wear them as is, like this with like a pair of jeans usually. Yeah. Have you ever worn it with a skirt? No, not that one though. No. I do, I, I love this top as well. I just always wear it with jeans. <laughs> I can see why. Like, it's quite cute even with like a jean short. Yeah, it is. That's really cute. Um, maybe too flashy. contrast and it looks quite like vintage like mm. this like 70s yeah i love it that could be nice for the winter yeah and you could wear that to work as well i think yeah quite happily with like tights and stuff as well yeah people i would say like if you're wearing tights maybe like a nude tie or like a white tie could be quite nice mm -hmm. i would say because there's no black in this look okay i would try and avoid it add that to my shopping list like I only have black tights so oh, okay <laughs> that would definitely be on my shopping list yeah I feel like it's really useful as well like it will so you'll still have that kind of nude leg like long leg appear as well mm. and because a lot of your wardrobe is quite colorful and quite like a lot of the outfits don't have any black in them mm. I feel like it'd be nice to only really wear the black tights if your outfit has some black Okay. If not, you Good can keep know. it all like quite clean and quite white. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like this is quite fun. You can also just like take pictures of them flat like this as well. Okay. Um, so these could be a nice look together. you as well like because you're so fair like these quite like light looks are quite nice i love that, that could yeah i could awesome. so wear that to work like i've always thought of this as something i could only wear on the weekends but once it's paired with like a more formal skirt it looks fine yeah i feel like because workwear has been changing so much and becoming much more casual mm. in the winter like if you have like a jumper but it's still really smart like this has quite a shirt like quality to it so you can yeah. kind of treat it like a shirt okay and i yeah. feel like that actually looks like just a smart really i think they both look quite smart yeah i love it yeah i think these like there's already quite a lot going on the top so like a plain bottom even that skirt you had on before the plain cream one could be really nice yeah yeah I don't know if you want to like photograph them or try them. Or... Can I try this pair on? I really like it. These two, yeah. These two, yeah. I really want to see if I can wear it to work. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I need to tuck it in or not. I don't really know. Mm. Yeah, it's got such an interesting hem and it's already cropped. So I wouldn't say it actually needs it. It's when you've got detail like that, you kind of want to show it off. Have you had a look? Yeah, I had a little peek in the mirror. I, I love the colours. Yeah, I really like them too. I just think these light colours on you are so nice. Yeah, I love the blue in this. It's really pretty. Yeah, I think it's your blue, for <laughs> sure. This is nice. It's like you're a 70s businesswoman. <laughs> you have like a little work bag or something. Yeah. Do you have like brown bags? Um. So my work bag is like a, I shall just bring it, um, oh, it's perfect, oh, <laughs> yeah. like kind of all in the same <laughs> colour story, yeah, yeah, quite toned down colour, yeah, like nudish, yeah, 
I feel like with this look, like just the different tones, of, like the nude is your bass, yeah. the blue is your pop. Like everyone's going to be looking up here, but then there's still some quite like nice detail. Then if you like in the winter have like a nude tight and a nude shoe, mm. that'd be really cool. Or like a nude boot. Yeah, boots with this would be so cute. I really love it. Little cowboy boot. Yeah. Cowboy boots are cute. Or like a little kind of like 70s. <laughs> Go-go boot. A white boot. This, this <laughs> has lots of possibilities. I'll photograph it. Uh, thank you. Do you want the bag with it? Uh, yeah, we can have that. <laughs> Even like the clip's still working. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's all quite that like retro style. Yeah. Did yeah. you say like there's any, you were saying you were attracted to like the 90s. Are there any other eras that you would go for? To be honest, I don't really know that well. Like what looks like what. I just. Yeah. I, what, like what we were saying about the like, K-pop stuff, I just yeah. knew a lot of them were wearing like, the baggy jeans at the moment, yeah. and, like the scrunchies. And so I was like, oh, that's so cute, very like 90s. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really know that well, like the other eras. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, and whatever this era is, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's quite a modern take still. Mm -hmm. Like it still looks quite current and quite fresh and like quite young and the fit is really good on your body as well that it is quite mm. a close fit. Yeah. Yeah I love the skirt. Yeah. Very cute. And the lines down are nice and helpful. Like yeah, I feel like all of it's very lengthening. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I definitely wear this one to work. Um in summary I feel like undertops would be really useful for you. Mm -hmm. Both lengths, a yeah. short sleeve and a long sleeve would be really good. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe just be kind of mindful of the colours and the fabrics that you're picking. Um, so I've noted a long sleeve and a short sleeve patterns could be really useful. I think we were quite enjoying a stripe as yeah. we were going along. So like maybe more stripes. You have quite a few high necks, maybe just a few kind of crew necks, just kind of as under layers. Yeah. The plainer ones are quite good to put underneath because you can't see too much detail when it's under something else. Mm -hmm. So they can be quite useful. Yeah. Um, you can get them at loads of really affordable places, you don't have to break the back. So like H&M is really good for that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Clothes are really good for that kind of thing. You can be sort of getting them all seasonal and still finding the correct colours and styles for you. I mean, h and pretty young. Yeah. Um, Monkey, have you ever been there? No. You love it. Monkey? Yeah, it's spelled M-O-N-K-I. Okay. I'll send you a few links. Yeah, is that well. like an online store or is In it? Person. Ooh, okay. So I'll have a look. In Carnaby Street, if you're ever there. It actually rings a bell now that you mention Carnaby Street. Yeah. I wonder if my friend likes it or something like that. Um, does it have like two floors? Yeah. And there's like spiral stairs? Yeah. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> yeah. I think it's yeah. quite you. Like, it's inspired by Korean street style. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff's quite oversized, but the prints are always really fun. They're mm -hmm. usually in quite interesting patterns and stuff like that. The basics are really nice. Um, so I tend to bring people there for a really good t-shirt. Okay. Because um, that really, you know that fabric you had in that pink dress? Mm. They usually feel a bit like that. I love that fabric. It's so like soft and yeah. like, comfy. Like, it almost feels like you could be in pyjamas but you're not. And I really like that for like work where I just feel very relaxed in the clothing. Yeah. yeah. They have a lot. So like their stripy t-shirts, their short sleeve t-shirts quite a range of colours, quite affordable. I think they're stocked on ASOS too. Oh, okay, that's So you should be able to find some of it there. Um, they have quite fun pattern pieces as well. So like if you're looking for something like a bit of a fun investment piece, quite workwear appropriate as well. They have a lot of like shirt dresses, um, mm. like nice skirts. It's all just like quite fun. Yeah. So they would be a really good brand to check out as well. Okay. Um, the accessories as well. Fun. Yeah. Like, I get fluffy bags from there, like, weird earrings, just like, statement pieces. Okay. They're quite good for that, I would say. That's like, 
quite long file, so I would definitely check that out. Okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to get a few Primark under tops if you feel like I just need a nude base layer, that kind of thing. That would yeah. be really useful. Um, but I think you could have a lot more fun with the underlayers and like really play with what's going over the, you know, each other. Mm. Like a fun floral, that kind of thing. Um, so I think, like, bottoms wise, like, the high waisted was really working for you. Mm -hmm. And I think because we don't want to put too much onto your hips, maybe like a few just plain but really nice coloured skirts okay. could be really useful. Yeah. So like it could be like a baby blue, a baby pink, like those baby colours on the bottom could be really lovely. Maybe not too much detail, like maybe it just zips up, it's really easy. They could be really fun. Yeah. There's no reason why you can't get like a trouser in that colour, like a suit trouser even. Mm. Like you could have a whole suit that maybe has a blazer and a trouser but you don't necessarily wear them at the same time. But you could if you wanted. Suits are quite nice investment pieces. Yeah. So like sometimes at work you might need to wear a suit. Maybe you've just bought like a pastel or light blue suit. Mm. You're wearing it with a white top underneath it. And then you're going out afterwards, you take the suit jacket off and you've got like a really fun trouser that you can still play with and use. Mm -hmm. They're not like all skinny nowadays, a lot of the suits are these kind of tapered legs. Yeah. Um, a lot, there's kind of a trend at the moment for suit shorts. Okay. So like, like, as like here? Or like quite short ones. Oh, wow. So, so you, you could go. get like a plain, like light blue short or something like that, which is still work appropriate because it's no it's it looks like a suit. Mm -hmm. Could work with blazer as well in the summer when it gets a bit hot and yeah. still be in the suit. They're quite nice. Um new look is quite good for that. I don't know how often you shop in new look. Um yeah I think occasionally yeah. I think they really vary on the season for me as to like whether I find something nice or not. Yeah. I love their summer dresses usually so I feel like the summer dresses, they have a lot of princessy ones that kind of go with your vibe. <laughs> they're really good to check. Also, if you ever are interested in petite, their petite section is getting better and better. Is, yes. Is that the one that's kind of like sometimes near the kids' section or is that something else? Uh, so they have 9 or 5, which is oh, teen. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I got confused with that one. And then they have petite as well. Oh, okay. So like petite starts at 4, goes all the way up. Okay. So petite is really just about length, you can be any size on wear petite. So if you're ever thinking, oh my trousers too long, yeah. I'd like a like a shorter length version, they have that too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot more places are getting shorter length. So like River Island also does petite. Mm. And they also, they have quite like bright, quite fun things as well. ASOS have everything in the world. <laughs> yeah. You know, they all definitely have. <laughs> If you're ever thinking, I just need a shorter length than something, mm -hmm. then that can be quite good. Okay. Um, so I'd say, yeah, like maybe a few like plain colour bottoms, but in those lovely pastels could be really nice. Yeah. Um, also, that navy jumpsuit, was that your only jumpsuit? Yes. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like you could explore jumpsuit. Okay. Like they were pretty easy and it was still really smart. I'd say like just like be on the lookout and don't be afraid to try them and think about how you compare them like we did today. Yeah. That like, was really comfy actually. Now you know that okay I can wear a jumpsuit and I can put things underneath it. Yeah. Like they're not all strappy, you could get like a sleeved jumpsuit as well. Mm -hmm. You could really play with them and like layer them and put stuff under them. They could be really fun. Yeah, yeah I'd, I could be really up for trying that. Um, also I would say just a few more like nude and white tights and socks and things like that, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, I really don't have any of those. So all my socks are crazy, colourful, um, black tights. So yeah, yeah, I'll have to get a lot of nude stuff I think. Yeah, I think so. I think just because like, the black's fun, but like sometimes if you want to wear all one light colour and want, you want to keep it going, 
throughout. I don't know how much like nude and white shoes you have or brown. Um, I've got a pair of white shoes, like the little white pumps, which are really cute. Yeah, so I think they go with a lot better. Again, I always wear them with their black tights. So I probably have been like ruining like the length of it. So, yeah, I'd say that the white ones would be nice if you can kind of keep. The keep it going if possible. Okay. Um, I don't know how much fun you can have at work, but nowadays it's quite a trend for like brightly coloured tights. Like you could be getting baby pink, light blue, floral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to have a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I would like shoes as well. I guess like nowadays people are you don't have to wear a heel to mm -hmm. be smart. You can wear a crisp white trainer. Okay. With like maybe a long dress, with that jumpsuit, you could have worn a white trainer to work and it would have still been really appropriate. Yeah, yeah. I'd say like just a really good quality white trainer, I think, would allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. But nowadays more and more people are wearing just trainers at work so you don't have to change your shoe. You can yeah. just like be in it the whole day. Like with some of these longer length skirts, a plain white trainer would be really nice. The skirt ends here and then you've got a white trainer. Yeah, no, I love that. That kind of fashion as well, actually. Yeah, I feel like that could be like a really useful piece, like an Adidas or something like that. But something maybe not too flashy. Ted Baker's quite good at smart clothes, quite good at workwear. Oh, okay. Bit of a higher price point, but like if you're looking for like a nice investment piece. They're very feminine as well. That's your kind of style. Yeah, yeah, I do like Ted Baker. I think I have some heels from there, maybe. Was it Ted Baker? I've definitely got a few things from there and I remember liking it. But yeah, it's a bit more pricey, I guess. It's a bit pricey, so I would say, like, if you're shopping Ted Baker, it'd probably be for an investment piece that you'll keep wearing, like a shoe or a bag or a coat. Okay. Mm. Like, coat wise, they're very famous for these kind of wrap coats they do. Oh, I love those. I don't have one, but I really like how like sleek they look. Yeah, they're quite professional. Yeah, it's like my image of like the London businesswoman, like a sleek coat and then her bag and yeah. Yeah, I feel like it goes with the kind of coach bag vibe as like as well. Yeah. They tend to always, I mean every season I've seen them, I think it's one of their it pieces, they'll have like this wrap coat. I've seen it in pink, I've seen it in burgundy, I've seen it in like those kind of shades. It's like, I don't know, like, in the winter do you wear like a black coat or...? So, because I get cold really easily I end up often prioritising warmth over fashion. So, um, I mean they're still really colourful but I have loads of really big fluffy pieces. Nice. That are, they're quite over the top actually. Yeah. Like, each year I end up kind of just buying a new fluffy coat mm -hmm. to keep warm um, and last year I had a really bright blue one that was really fluffy um, Sounds great Yeah, and then big white one the year before Yeah, you've got coats sorted, you don't need a new coat I have a lot of coats <laughs> because I'm just a very cold person but I love the idea of the, the Ted Baker like sleek ones so yeah, I have a lot of coats but not a lot of, lot, not a lot of like fashionable I think fluffy is fashionable yeah. Very cute. <laughs> Same as you, I've been buying a fluffy coat every year as well. I can't stop. <laughs> I love fluffy coats. And it's funny because people in the elevator at work will like stroke it. Yeah. And they're like, it's so fluffy. And but they're, they're warm. And they're yeah, still so warm. pretty stylish. Yeah. I think you're pretty on it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. It definitely makes everything look a lot cutesier. Yeah. It's quite fun. I mean, if you ever wanted to like look sleek or, you know, you can still like get a nice wool coat with like a mm. warm lining as well. Yeah, I've looked at, uh, it's funny you mentioned Uniqlo because mm. I was looking at their like heat tech range where you yeah. can get like the underwools because if I do want to get like a more sort of sleek professional style coat like the ones from Ted Baker I think I need to buy some like underwear, like a like a warm thermal top underneath or I'll just get too cold. I would definitely recommend Uniqlo as well for the for the plain t-shirts. Okay. The heat techs come in a lot of colours. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to hide them away. They could be the undertops. Oh that's an idea. Yeah. So if you get a brightly coloured like undertop. Yeah. And then you just own it and you just wear it and make it intentional. Oh. Sometimes I think when you when you try too hard to hide it away it's like it away, but if you're like, I've done something really cool with my heat tech, and it's like a I've got a purple heat tech under this dress, and like, that would look quite cool. 
Uh, like a lot of the time the heat texts don't look like heat texts, it just looks like a long sleeve top. Yeah. Oh, I might try that out then. Love yeah. when they come out winter. I'm like, you can wear a scarf in the office. Yeah. Just like fashionable. But like, mm -hmm. maybe just look for a fun colour or a fun print. That can be quite a nice edge as well. Yeah. Because it could be like, yeah, just sort of think about like what, like you have a lot of pattern here already. Maybe it's like a plain colour that you want to have sit under your face that looks really nice, like a pastel or something like that. You don't have to do it up, you can just, sometimes I wear them as shorts, just pop it over your shoulder and it makes you quite warm. Uh -huh. You can get things like capes that look quite intentional, Ooh. a little bit red, in, red or riding hood, but that can be quite nice and they can be quite fashiony as well. Hmm. So much that I need to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some links. Yeah. <laughs> I remembered monkey so far, I've got monkey, Tedeka, yeah. but yeah, so much like ideas now, I'm quite excited. You're right, it's like I've got like new clothes, like almost, it feels very refreshing knowing that things I hadn't tried in quite a few years are suddenly okay. That's good to hear. Yeah. Layering seems to be the one thing I wasn't doing, so. I hope that it like, can unlock like some more ideas as well, even with the things we haven't tried, like just getting mm -hmm. a bit experimental with the layering. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't think about putting stuff underneath things, how interesting that could be. Yeah. Like even, I know we haven't looked at dresses today, mm -hmm. but like you can get quite experimental with putting layers underneath dresses like we did earlier. Yeah. And like putting a jumper under the dress rather than overing it, like it gives it new, new ways of wearing. When you put over it, it looks like you've got like a jumper and a skirt. When you put under it, you can see the whole dress. You can wear the same dress two times in one week and no one will be able to notice because you've worn it so differently. Yeah, it's really exciting to, to try out a new combination. Yeah, and like sometimes, like I like to do this at home, sometimes myself, like I'll put some music on, have some sort of fun drink going and just have a play and take some pictures, lay them out, try them on. Yeah. It could be quite nice to do on your own as well, but okay, like something is unlocked, I want to just make some weird combinations and have some fun. Yeah, I like the idea of, I think I'll take a few pictures and maybe have like an album yeah. on my phone just to reference because I'm quite good at forgetting. <laughs> so it'd be nice to remind myself of like how creative I can be with them. And I'll send you like some pictures from today as Thank well you. and like some links and some shopping ideas so you don't forget as well. Thank you. Like, yeah, sometimes it's nice to just like look at other what around, like look at Korean street style, look at Japanese street style, look at like how they're dressing it on the mannequins. And, yeah. Like how can I do that kind of thing myself and like have a bit of fun yeah. like, with accessories and layering and stuff like that. Like, when I used to dress mannequins, it was always how can I do something that no one's tried before, like give people mm -hmm. some new ideas. Like sometimes maybe it's rolling something, maybe it's showing a bit of texture a bit of pattern and that kind of thing. Yes, thank you, I've learned loads. Like, it's a really educational experience actually. Oh, I'm glad you have. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, thank you so much for helping me with everything. Thank you. Hi, thanks Hello. for coming again. <laughs> thanks for having me again. Yeah, so this time I've got a lot more winter items mm -hmm. in my wardrobe. Um, again, a lot of troublesome items that I never know how to style, like quite long ones, mm -hmm. ones that are very knitted that mean I have like not much shape to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through those today. <laughs> yeah, I have um, a clothes rack <laughs> this time around, so. Which looks amazing. Thank you. I do, I feel like I'm in this like wonderland of like dress <laughs> up, it's great. Um, I thought maybe we can put the items we're discussing on there so everyone can see them really clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where to start though. Um, let's pull out some of those ones that you're struggling with. Right, um, so especially for winter this is one of the first ones definitely. Mm -hmm. Just because it's actually quite see-through, it's really knitted okay, but yeah. you can see my bra when I wear it. Because it's quite a thick knit. Yeah. Do you ever put anything underneath this? So usually just a black bra, but because of that, it makes it not very like work appropriate, mm -hmm. um, which is very annoying. And if I have a heat tech or something under it, it's too hot. <laughs> okay, so 
we need to find a kind of middle ground with this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so should we start with this one then? Yeah. So on the top sides, we want something not too hot and not too cold, right? Yeah. Mm. I think as well. Maybe something lighter in the shade would be good. Do you think this would still be too warm? Um, this one's quite thin actually, so it could be okay. And the blue and the yellow go really nicely together as well. Oh. So underneath you just get a light colour. Right. So that could be a good way of doing it. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> I'm so impressed already. <laughs> hey. Let's see what it looks like on as well. I think it's good to try it on just to see am I too warm, am I too cold, and get that kind of feeling. Right. So you can try this combination as well. I think what we want to be looking for is a light coloured top. This could work. Oh, it's one of my new ones, yeah. Oh, this colour is so lovely on your skin. Thank you, yeah. I got it after our thing, so mm. when I was focused on finding all these, like, lighter colours. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is lovely. This is quite thick though, so I think underneath that you'd be a bit too warm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does have quite a thickness to it. Hmm, so I think something kind of in between. How thick is this one for you? Quite thin actually, yeah, it's really breathable. So this would be a good option. I'm just kind of pulling out lighter fabric and lighter colours. Like, as a three, these look quite nice together. It's really cute, yeah. So green and yellow are quite similar. So like underneath that yeah. could be quite nice. Oh, that'd be really nice, yeah. Do you have any short sleeve under tops that could go underneath um, this? I should do. I think less of them are in here because the winter. Yeah. But like, I do have like more short ones like this or... They're mainly black though. Because I think since I've done the colour console, it's been winter mainly after yeah. that. And there haven't been much short stuff around to wear. Yeah, this one's basically the same, like, short and black. Mm. Even this one. I know it's got some writing on it, but it's going to be underneath. Mm. And it's still a lighter colour. This could be good and it's got short sleeves. But underneath, I don't think you'd really even see the writing, so that could be a good yeah, option that's as true. well. Yeah, and mm. less hot as well because it's yeah. casual. Do you have like, I'm sure it's, it's probably not in this wardrobe, but like any vests? Um, I don't think so. I only have things like this, which is more of like an over the top one. Um, yeah, I don't own any vests anymore. I used to when I was younger. That might be something for the shopping list. Yeah, I never realised that, yeah. I used to always wear it under school uniform and stuff, yeah. but then after that I just thought I didn't need them anymore. And you can get like heat tech vests as well and things like that. Mm. That could be a good shout, like sort of white and nude under tops. So this kind of thing could be a really useful short sleeve or long right. sleeve. It doesn't need to have a high neck either, it could be like a scoop neck. Right. They're quite useful pieces. Yeah, definitely onto something like that. That's exactly, I guess, what I would need. That's for the shopping list. De yeah, we've already got one. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about as well putting it over the top of a dress? Ooh. Have you tried that before? Never, no. Yeah, I have a lot of dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think with dresses, mm -hmm. I don't ever find them as troublesome because I kind of just wear one thing and then you're done. Yeah. So, oh, I love this one. <laughs> I mean, purple is definitely your colour. Oh. <laughs> so what could be an interesting thing as well? These strappy dresses are really useful because it is like having a vest. Right. What we'll do. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. like real order to things. <laughs> this has got a bit of the yellow in it as well. So if you had this underneath this, it would go really well. Oh, that's so cute. Or even over the top, actually. That's yeah. kind of 90s vibe that you like. 
this could be quite a cute card but so you could try it under or over and then you've covered up the area that you want to cover yes up. exactly the the yeah, need to cover as and well. then you're not too hot as well so under or over we can try that combo as well yeah or even if you want you could just go like this actually a really useful layer on top you've got here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a bit of lettering. Mm. Have you done this combo before? No, I always just wear this one as this, like I guess. I haven't really experimented with it at all. So you could look like, at that and then pop that over or like pop a cardigan over. Oh yeah, that's the one we got last time. <laughs> So great, this colour for you. <laughs> yeah, I'd be wearing it a lot. <laughs> Have you worn these two together? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I experiment as much as I could. <laughs> Sometimes it's helpful in a wardrobe edit because it gives you sort of like the freedom to play around and make some combos. This could be cool. That's really cute. That was some boots or something. Yeah. Or even, like, I'm just looking at the rail and, like, the blue goes really well with this dress. It does. So you could have, like, blue and this, and then you could have... Is this a cardigan here? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> just some really nice, like, combos that you can do. But, like, strappy dresses like this work really hard, like, all season. Like, winter you could be wearing it. Oh, sure. I love that with the blue. I never would have noticed that. If you look at like the patterns that are in the dress, there's a little bit of blue, there's yellow, there's white, and you think, what have I got? And there's colours that I can pick out. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cute as well. Yeah, I think you'd look really cute. Oh, in I this. love that. Because you look so good in yellow. Oh, thank you. And then this will show off your nice waist. Oh, definitely. <sighs> Sorry, we've deviated from the jumper a little bit, but it's given a few kind of. Yeah, it's given loads of good well. ideas. Let's see if we can add another dress into the mix as well. So we can get you wearing this with more dresses. Um, hmm. So, what you're looking for is a dress without a collar, because this has got the collar. Right. We'll just put this here. We'll put these. Do you wear this one much? In summer I wear it so much, yeah. But not in the winter? No, not in the winter at all. <laughs> oh, I see it does have a bit of a collar, so it probably wouldn't work with that one. Okay. But what I can do is show you how to take it into the winter. Yeah, I've never, I've never worn it in winter. It's too cold. <laughs> this one's a great because it's long to cover up lots of your legs. Right. You still have your tight underneath it, but then you could have something that you can, you can pop this out over something. Ooh. So in the print, you've got bits of purple here and bits of yellow. Yeah. Which I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to make it work with these new pieces. It's exciting, isn't it? There's so much more colour now. So this could be a really cute combo. But you get quite cold, right? Yeah. So you're thinking, hmm, is this going to be enough? So you could even have this underneath it. Oh, okay. I like to put like these underneath my dresses. Oh, I do like to. So this is a heat tech, so it's keeping me really warm. Oh. So you put this underneath. It just gives you that extra layer of warmth. And then you'll probably find you'll be taking off the cardigan because you'll be so warm. <laughs> right. And then you still get to wear a dress in the winter. Mm. I always just leave them in there because it's like I always switch the short sleeve tops and the long ones, but the dresses I just kind of leave in case I still have like a 
dinner party or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I just get, like, face the cold. <laughs> okay, but this is going to be my goal today, to show you how you can wear them and be warm. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I even went near the dresses last time as well, because, yeah, they're not really troublesome in summer. But I just need to find a way to make them work for you in the winter. And now you know it's possible to put things underneath them as well. Yeah. Hopefully they can all get some more love. Just pop this little green out, and you've just got a neck. A neck. It's really intentional. Like it looks like it's kind of like part of it. Like if you didn't know, you'd be like, oh, it's just the dress. Yeah. And it goes with like the kind of like the leaves here. Then you've got that, and then you could have either of those two cardigans on top. Yeah. And they're all like in the same color family as well. Your colors, so they all go together. It's really like feminine as well. It is. I love it. And you just pop the cardigan over the top. It's really cute. <gasps> and then should hopefully you'll still be warm. Yeah, should I try it on? Yeah. Yeah. There's like yeah, there's loads of things we can try. Yeah, I'm excited. I keep it's so cool how you can actually make the outfit like pre-made on the rack yeah. like this. It's really fun. Oh, which one? <laughs> yeah, Should I check right. this one? Yeah, is that the one you're excited by? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else you can try as well. <laughs> but I bring the jacket in on my arms so I can try it without. <laughs> These colours look so good on you. Oh, I'm so happy. I love this dress. Yeah. I wear it so much in summer. Now you're going to wear it so much in the winter. It's really warm with this one, yeah. Yeah. I think this would make a really nice work look as well. Mmm, and it's got lots of colour to it. Mm hmm. You're right, very feminine. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I just wanted to do 12. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel like, as well, your legs are kind of warm? Because it's like a long... Yeah, yeah. And I always have these like thermal tights on anyway. So I wear a lot of similar skirts anyway in winter. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, yeah, nice how much leg is being covered. I love those stuff like this. <laughs> it's quite like cottage core. Like, yeah, as I was thinking that as well. Like it is kind of like the dresses I was looking at to buy for our cottage core like mood yeah. board. So. What's really nice as well is it like cuts you in the waist kind of perfectly, so it shows your shape really nice. And the mm. cardigan similarly, it's like not too oversized. Right. Uh, yeah. So you just like did up some of the buttons on the cardigan as well. It, like really shows off the waist. Like one or two? Yeah, that yeah, that's perfect. And it's just like proper in at the waist. Mm. Oh you know what else it could do? Mm. Just 
see if you're like really wanting to show off the waist. Mm. I think that's too much. <laughs> the colour's quite similar though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to look too kind of like matched matched. So this kind of goes with like your vibe. Mm -hmm. Now I see. How does this one look? I do. I don't know. I think it came on a skirt. Oh, it's probably a lower skirt. Yeah. It's probably not ready to be high waisted. Yeah. But we won't but something that similar could us. work, yeah. Hmm. Nope, there's no hacks. Like, <laughs> there are hacks for this. I don't really understand it. I think it came with this skirt, maybe? Uh, like joined in on the top and I actually didn't wear it because of it because it was such a confusing belt. It is a little bit. Yeah. And you can see that like it looks quite nice together as well. Like the colour wise, yeah. Yeah. Oh that's a shame. The brown belt would have been quite good. I can really add it to the list. Brown <laughs> yes. belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think the the blue on there is too similar to the dress. That might be one for the list, I think. This is so comfortable. Yeah? Yeah. Because the green is already my current like favourite thing because yeah. it's comfy. So wearing it underneath something that, like this is comfy anyway, but mm -hmm. actually probably wearing it under other things will make me like them more because it's so comfortable. Yay. Yeah. And like, for instance, you could have this pink one yeah. underneath because there's pink in the flowers. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit thicker than the green one, so yeah. you probably wouldn't need the cardigan over the top. You could just have this and be done. Yeah. That's another option as well. Definitely. Should we take a picture so you can oh, see? Okay. You look so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully this is like opening you up to like all the possibilities that like the dresses could have. Yeah, I think the layering is really helpful to have you help me with. It's something that doesn't I don't always intuitively think to do. Yeah. And you've got such lovely coloured cardigans at the moment as well. Yeah. <laughs> like this one could easily go over the top as yeah. well. This lovely pink you have here. This is gorgeous. Yeah, that's another recent find <laughs> for colours. You can try that one if you want. Yeah. You're getting this really lovely, like versatile wardrobe where everything kind of goes with each other and there's not too many wrong answers. Oh, yeah, I think last time it was much darker, I think, looking at the what mm -hmm. we together. Now, because there's much more light colours, there's like way more possibilities. Oh, I love this. Is so it fun to do that? You know what? Done up, it looks like a jumper over a skirt. Oh. Which is really nice. It does again have that like cottagey, cottage core feel. Yeah. The colour is just so vibrant and lovely. Yeah. You look like really colourful and like fresh and healthy. I'm really actually good. so happy because this one, mm -hmm. um, gosh, I tried to wear it with something recently yeah. and it wasn't working. Uh -huh. And I bought it for the colour mainly and I didn't really think about the styling. I think because it, it's quite, like it doesn't really like, it's quite like squarish. I don't know if it's right. But actually with a long skirt like this, it, I think this is the right combination to wear it with. I think so too. I like it all done up for you as well because mm. then you've got that kind of jumper effect. Yeah. You could just like play around with the buttoning like this and then that just gives you a little bit of like shape and definition. And then also play with belting over the top. Yeah. If the brown one were to work that could be <laughs> helpful. Um, but also say you weren't wearing a blue dress you could have the blue belt tied. Right. Over. So I think what we maybe should add to your wish, wish list is like a good overbelt. Could right. be like um, this kind of colour would be really lovely, this light colour that you have here. It's in your buttons a little bit. 
some browns, maybe like another colour. And just looking. Yeah, I think it's useful to have some like different colours just to like play around with. Um, but you can also just play with how you button it as well. Um, so just so you can see what it does look like unbuttoned. Yeah, it does look really lovely on buttons, and then you can see the waist here, which is really nice. You look like really fresh. Oh, I'm <laughs> This is so lovely. It's like my favourite original dress I always wore with like my new, new colours. So I'm glad they go as well. Together they look really lovely. Yeah, because I focus on buying so many new colours that mm -hmm. match me. Mm -hmm. I guess there is this tendency to be like, oh, my old stuff no, no longer like it's like usable but that's not true at all like it matches so well that's so, really good yeah because the color can match my face from here so definitely how about let's try something a bit strange Ooh. what if you put the jumper on backwards okay <laughs> because it's got that like quite high neck on the front and the back what you could be getting is a jumper effect if it doesn't work then you know we played and we've had a bit of fun you do get those jumpers with buttons on the back, right? Oh, I might need your help on the back. <laughs> yeah, it might be in the future, like... <laughs> Doesn't even have to be all of them. It could just be like a couple. So just do like three of them. Oh, it looks nice on the back. It's really comfy. And then what you can do, because you can see that it's got like a tie neck. So we might as well just bring the tiny out. Mm -hmm. Then what you've done is like given like a bit of fun to the jumper, so like wearing a necklace almost. Yeah. So I think the jumper would be quite nice like up here on your waist, right? What we can do Do you have a hair tie? Do somewhere. Um <laughs> <laughs> bit weird, but I do this with knitwear quite a bit. Kind of like just kind of give it a little tie like this. Yeah, that looks good. And that doesn't feel uncomfortable like that? No, not at all. It's and then it looks really like good. really casual as well. See your waist there. Yeah, it's just like not too try hard as well. It's like, oh, it's just draped a little bit off side. Yeah. I think the bows are such a cute thing. I never know yeah. what to call them though. Like, uh, it's called a pussy bow. Oh, I'm sure okay. Why, though. Yeah, I've got to look that up. I've always had like a slight <laughs> obsession with them. Like, I don't know if you can see a lot of my dresses. I was not to see them. <laughs> like, I really like them, but whenever I try to like. Mm buy them online, I'd just be like, dress with bow, and it would always be the wrong kind of bow. Search for a pussy bow and you'll yeah. find them. But like, yeah, all of these colours you have go with each other so they well. Do. So so many of these outfits like are definitely doable. Yeah. And you don't have to have it like done up like a bow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people just have them like, just like, be free. <laughs> free the bow. Or you can do them like, to the side. Similar to like with the cardigan, it doesn't have to be one way. And it's quite nice because when you're like repeating looks, sometimes you can make them look a bit different by like where you've tied them. So, like, move the bow to the side, and then maybe we have the jumper at the front. Sometimes I do it at the back, mm -hmm. but that's with like jumper jumpers because it's yeah. a cardigan. It's a bit harder in the stuff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But if you ever want to like crop a knit without having to like sew, this kind of looks like it's been tucked in. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, there's no waist. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. It's very really comfy too. <laughs> That's good. It looks like a warm knit as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> take some pictures for you as well. I'll we'll take one of your back as well. Oh, yeah. You probably can't see this part. So that's what it looks like.
on the back. Oh, it looks like you've just got a really nice detail. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. it to the side. It's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's like quite worky as well. Like it looks mm. quite smart to have that. Yeah. So this cardigan's got loads of versatility. Yeah. Oh god. It's fun being able to use the new new things I bought. Yeah, there's loads of other combinations we can try as well. Um, this one's really similar as well. So you've got, yeah, it's quite a similar dress, but you've got a shorter sleeve with this one, mm -hmm. which means you can also have a little bit of fun. Let's use this, for example. Ooh, so, look at on our last wardrobe edit, we were, I think you had this pink dress. Yes. Uh, and you were struggling with it showing too much skin. So we put, um, so we put something with a long sleeve underneath it. Actually, this would work together. Oh yeah, I did have this at the time. Yeah. yeah that worked really well. So we oh, I love put that. this underneath <laughs> I tried it on actually. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I didn't have that top last time and it worked so well. This would be really good because then you're all one colour. Yeah. Oh, I never realised that those two would go together. should probably bring these back each time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need to do this up actually. How is it for you? It's so comfortable. Yeah. Like, I, oh. I don't have to worry at all about this bit because yeah. they can be as deep down, like as, what you call it, as low as it wants to be without me worrying because it does feel like the same colour almost. Like, yeah. I actually think I prefer it to last time's combination a bit more because it's like very pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and like, especially when you wear kind of all similar shades, it like makes you look quite like long and tall. Yeah. Like when you were wearing that all green look in the last yes, video? Yes, yeah. I love that one. I always wear that. Yeah. Is that belt come out of all? Oh, this one? Yeah. Um, stuck in there. Oh, yeah, it does. It's got like a little thin thing here that keeps on. Oh, perfect. So you're definitely not tied 100% to all of the belts that come with skirts and dresses. Mm. And then putting in something kind of unexpected makes it really fun. And then if you pop this in here, and it's got like this kind of print which goes as well, it goes with the black in your tights, it goes with the pink. And it's because it's a bit different from the pink on pink, it's like saying, here's my way. Yeah. <laughs> and it just makes it really fun. Oh, yeah. Do you wear this belt much? I don't. I don't actually know what it's from. I don't think I've ever worn it. I have no idea what it came with. Not 
てたねえレナッチョ Yeah it's really nice、um, that it's thick as well Because it's going right over kind of the stitching Oh I love that <laughs> How do you feel? I like it. It's nice when it's quite tight here. Like, well, tighter. Yeah. It's, just, it's quite tucked in. Yeah. It's quite yeah. comfortable. I think, like, when your wardrobe, like, the accessories and everything you own all matches each other, everything looks like it's, like, come with each other, but it hasn't. You just, like, got a really cohesive, like,、yeah. style. Yeah, because it does look like these could have been sold together, but they just mix and match so well. Photographs. Thank you. So, like with this pink dress, you could be wearing like loads of different things under it. You could contrast and have a green. Yeah. If you wanted to, that could be really nice. Green and pink are always really nice because it's like red and green. They're like opposites on the colour wheel. So, they look really good together. So, you could have like the green underneath that one. It's a bit thinner though, so you might even want another cardigan. You could have the blue underneath it. Yeah. Really have some fun with it.、Um, but yeah, I was thinking of this one because with this, you've got a short sleeve. And you're like, how can I wear a short sleeve right in the winter? So you could just pop a cardigan over the top. The colours go so well. The two blues look quite nice together. Yeah. Again, yeah. it looks like they could have come together, like, like a little set. Yeah. Oh. What you could do is have this pink poking out like you have with this one.、Yeah. That could be fun to try on. Yeah. Yeah, so I could just keep this one on and put it on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Everything just goes like, with each other so nicely. Like you could easily have this and this. Yeah. All of it goes so, like the floral colours. Yeah. Like, You can see the beige underneath it looks really lovely.、Mm, it does. That one I have worn it with quite a bit before. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried any of these? I haven't before. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to try this one on. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dress. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. It's so pink. <laughs> Just tuck this little bit in. It's so nice. <laughs> I'm warming up. 
Yeah, definitely. I think this is quite thick, so. Yeah. So you don't need like a cardigan or anything? Um, I feel like I'd still happily wear one because I get cold so easily. So. The blue would be good, the pink would be good, the beiges, the yellows, Lovely. everything like goes. You see, you put this on on the hanger, I was like, it looked so cute. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. And as well, without the cardigan, you've got this lovely frilly sleeve that's still on show. Yeah, you can still see it. I like this though. I really like this. This is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm having so much cottage craft style stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Unintentionally. Naturally, you just kind of had that vibe. Mm. And you could belt it with this belt from the other dress. Yeah. Because they can all into like intermingle. Because you fancied a belt on the head. Just put it off. Really, it's like a ballerina style colour. Yeah, actually. Yeah, you've already got this here. I'd say maybe a belt with like a buckle would be nice or eyes if a lot of boots. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what you could do is just. Just if you're in a mood where you're like, yeah, I want to show off my waist today. Mm. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All your colours together are just like... Perfect. I hope this is like helping like give these dresses some winter life. It really <laughs> is. Like, I never really thought of wearing them in winter. They're just always there. So, I'm oh glad. I hope they get more wet. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, they all go with your knitwear so yeah. perfectly. Lovely and warm as well when you've got these quite thick jackets on. Yeah. I pulled out some more things as well that could all work because I was still thinking about this one as well. So, like, a bit like how you got your pink and pink, mm. you could go. Oh, wow. Yellow and yellow. Oh, that's so good because the top of this dress I don't love. Okay. But I love the the, the print, mm -hmm. but I don't like this belt that much. I see. So that that's perfect because so yeah, <laughs> this is like another item that I like struggle to wear so well. Yeah. Perfect. So if we keep this as well as the travel item. Mm. So I think so. This isn't is what you don't like. Yeah, I just how don't do like how it looks. Like coming in there. So I think this dress can now become an underdress, mm -hmm. if you don't like it. I never thought of doing that. So if we look at like what knitwear is kind of chunky enough that it could go over the top. So I think this one could go over the top as well. Yeah. So these pieces like, oh it's a shame that you still love the bottom. I so just like, love the print, it's so cute. Yeah. But yeah, if you wear it in summer, you can't really put things over it because it's too hot. But I never thought of using it as a winter dress. Perfect. It's nice and thick. Oh, it's Ooh. Really perfect. And then it goes and it's got that really lovely cottagey vibe. Oh. I feel like this is having us a cottage core video before our actual cottage, cottage core video. video. <laughs> <laughs> the pre cottage core from your existing wardrobe video. I guess, like, there is always like a trend that you'll unintentionally be aligned with. Yeah. And I guess mine is always cottage core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's nice like a little contrast. Really cool. Yeah. Wouldn't expect it, but it's nice. I love this blue. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, it goes with your eyes as well, which is perfect. But it's like nice and thick, so it could take, like, easily, it could pop over that. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can try it on quickly over this, actually. It's quite easy. It's oh, nice thank you. Going on. I think the element of, like, the I think the florals of the cottage core is kind of you and the kind mm. of girliness of it. 
but you're like a more pastel cottage cottage. Pastel, yeah, I'm like princessy as well, I think. Yeah, definitely. So this one I think is what you were saying you were struggling with, it's a bit long, I think mm. it's hiding your body a little bit. Yeah. So what we could do, we could get any belt for this. So we get like a belt belt. And the trick here is it's a belt that no one is going to see. So it doesn't oh, matter okay. that it's black. Does this go on your waist? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so if you put this underneath, just in the dress here. Cover my old belt. <laughs> I forgot I even had this. Quite useful. So that was just sitting on the area here that you want to highlight. So if you take that and look where that is, you've got this troublesome bit popping up here. The idea is to tuck the jumper underneath the belt. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of holds the jumper up. Right. Just another thing other than the elastic band that can help just kind of keep it in place. There's a lot of fabric and the belt just kind of went like that. Mm -hmm. You can just tuck in kind of randomly like that, but it just shows like, where the waist is and it keeps it. Yeah, as well. So if you really true. get the jumper underneath the belt, it just keeps it in place. And the belt doesn't get seen. Yeah. It's just kind of hidden. Mm, I like it. You know what as well? Because you're like, oh, this is wanting to be free. <laughs> you just like pop that over the top. Oh, and I've got a bow. I love bow. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I was just thinking, hmm, it needs something. <laughs> like a necklace. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that can kind of help or like before with the elastic bands you can like elastic it here yeah that's a quick there, and easy as well stick it in the back sometimes <laughs> i just do it behind me <laughs> that will do <laughs> yeah it's definitely a good hack i picked up from this the elastic band too yeah as well as the belt yeah and it like it could be an elastic band it could easily be a scrunchie as well because right. it's like a lot of fabric mm -hmm. so like either you can do the tuck it into the belt thing or mm -hmm. you can try just like playing it. So the problem with this belt is it's kind of curling it right. off a little bit, which is a shame. But you can do this trick with any belt. Right. So if you just find a belt that sits perfectly on your waist, no issues, then you believe you can tuck the jumper into it. And we can do something kind of rather intentional. Might be a little too bony. Sometimes I do this like in front of a, a mirror. This can help. <laughs> and it goes as well with the yellow. <laughs> then at the front, just kind of arrange it however you want to arrange it. Really oh, yeah, you can go much shorter now. Yeah, and it just sits perfectly on your waist. You could do a bit of this and just some kind of like fun, oh, just casual or whatever, or just like put it really neatly. If that's not too uncomfortable having no, that fabric. No, it's not uncomfortable at all. It's just really casual. We can even show this bit at the bottom here. And you can make it sit wherever you want it to sit, basically. Mm. <laughs> I love it. The colours together are really nice. Right. Uh, really bright blue like brings out all the colours in this one as well. Yeah. And it's got that kind of like it's almost a skirt, but it's not a skirt. You could have it sit lower if you like. Just kind of mould it. <laughs> and 
if you get like a belt that you want to show off as well, you could have it in the middle, like a, a buckled one, and then it's not too many bows. Yeah. And a yeah. pink or a nude or something. And you could just belt a jumper. Yeah. Just straight up and show it off. But this looks really nice. I really like this. It's made it so short and like neat. And then you've got that cute detail on the back. <laughs> I'll tear it for a back one too. <laughs> yeah. So this is what your back looks like right now. Oh, it's so cute! It's so <laughs> cute. I love that. <laughs> oh, this is so really cute. So cute. And it's like, I feel like the bow on the front is smart enough for work. Mm, definitely. Like edge. Mm. It's a bit hot though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This are like, these are my like, when it's really cold outfits. Yeah, I mean, if we went outside today, I think it would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you could as well do yeah. the jump rope. Oh, sorry. Amy, <laughs> I realise I'm trapped. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is a bit hot because it's quite a thick knit, right? Mm. And you've got a knit on the underneath. Yeah. You could lose one of them. Yeah, I think the pink one I wouldn't need if I'm in a style. But if I was outdoors yeah. all day or something, it would be great. It's really warm. So you could just have that, or you could just have the the jumper over the dress. It just gives you loads of options, and then that dress can get loads of like wears in different kind of ways. Yeah. Shying away from that first year, I know, job, but we are going to get that. I might just show it without, yeah. so you can see like what it looks like without it on. Oh, I think it's lovely. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know what could help as well? It could just be another belt thing. Have you oh. ever belted it? No. Because that would just cut, because maybe you're thinking this is too much. You'd actually rather that end up here, right? Mm, yeah. Because this is lovely. That's the crazy belt, I guess. <laughs> but just to show you what it could look like, just like a little contrast. You just need to cut it almost visually. Yeah. It might just be that. It might just be that it needed a brown belt. Like something the dipped up the two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's put this one on. Oh, yeah, these two are perfect. Oh, I love this. I really like this. I'm so happy I can oh, yes. I should probably do that up there. Another bow. That is such a win. Like just helping like get those items that you're like, oh no, I just can't bear it at all. Yeah, I'm so happy because I love this pattern so, so much. Like the yellow. Oh that's like yeah, it's just covered it up perfectly. And yeah. what's like lovely is it's a crop. Mm. So it's just like that's a perfect bit. You perfectly. Oh, Don't I love put that. any hair ties in it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the colours. I love it. Okay, this is my favourite one. It's <laughs> <laughs> like all I wonder what like our next Yeah, I've got quite a lot of like hair stuff and headbands and everything. Hmm. A green? Yeah. 
create a yellow if you don't want. I mean, this outfit is really quite cottage core to me. It doesn't. Oh my gosh, I love this! Oh wow! And then this nice little daisy, because it's got the yellow in it. So yeah! I'm just like, oh, this is my favourite so far. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this is. <laughs> yeah, somehow we've ended up with a winter cottage core video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess my wardrobe is just very, like, all my dresses are very cottage core y. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I love this outfit so much. Even with the headband as well, it's so comfy. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> it lives. <laughs> this one does make me feel like a princess. It's very princessy. <laughs> and I think it can take more jumpers. Okay. Because I'm like, this is good, but I think we can keep going. I think that the jumper jumper could get on that. Is that like... Switch for the other. Yeah. yeah. I was like, do you want that Because it's nice to give you one thing with that dress, but let's see if we can push for any more. Oh, this green one goes with this so well. <laughs> so well. <laughs> Just think it, put those two together. Quite preppy. Pre preppy. I yeah, think. it is quite preppy. We'll see. Yeah. I'm just like buying me like hmm, other jumpers could go on top. Hmm. You know what's actually really good is that it is one of the dresses without that bow. Yeah, it does have a bow, a tiny but, one somewhere, yeah. which means really a lot of jumpers could go over the top. So this one is a little bit long on the bottom. It's not as perfect as this combo is, hmm. but we can still make it work. Got no bow on the front, so oh. I think it's time to have a bow on the front. I could take a really big bit here, put this on the front, show it off. Tuck that in if you want. Yeah. Put that in. I guess because it's such a thick knit. Maybe it just kind of goes down the side. I love the little bow. It's so cute. It goes so well. <laughs> yeah, I like the yellow on yellow. It's very nice. Yeah. I think that helps. I mean, nothing is as good as these two were together. That one was great, yeah. But this is still nice. Yeah. I actually don't mind it long as well. again. Could just keep it long. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about the see-through part anymore at all. Yeah, so it's all covered up. And you could, if we get the brown waist belt that works, just belt it in the middle. Yeah. Breaking my own colour rules here. <laughs> so you've got a black tie, and then you have a black hair okay, but I'm just bringing black into the look so it's looking as like more planned and less random. And then we've got back here. There's a few black pieces. I love 
Oh, the headband as well. Yeah, like, because I'm always a little bit like, oh, there's a black tight with your all coloured look. It looks a bit kind of like random. Right. But then now you've got another black piece and another black piece, and it's all seem like really intentional. Like, oh, okay. Hello. You look nice. Hi. Those are the main combos of that yellow. Just seeing if there are any more jumpers that could go over the top. This could go over the top? Oh, yeah. We did on the last dress, not on this one. I'm going to give you as many options as possible. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this one could go over the top. Oh, I like this one. They're actually quite similar in colour as well. Like this is quite like a bright mustard and that's more, or that's a beige. So it brings out like the beige notes in the skirt. really well. I guess because it's cropped as well. Yeah. Don't have to put are. anything. It is a little thinner though so we can kind of see where some of the frills oh. are. Which is a shame. Oh. But like it does work. It's, it's very comfy. Because it's quite thin you can kind of mm. see that it's been put on over something. So yeah. But it does kind of work. So, mm. <laughs> so I think if the jumper's like thick enough it will work but colour wise it's what really works and yeah, this length is really good for you. You can try the blue as well. And like when you do these wardrobe edits once it kind of helps like mentally like going forward and then you're like oh okay yeah. it's too tiring to do it again but now <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah to kind of stand and try everything on is quite tiring but once you know. Yeah. Like this still feels a bit like dress up so it is fun. <laughs> Like sometimes on your own it's nice to just like put on some like music and have a nice drink going and just like make it really like enjoyable self-care like experience. Show this one that took a bit work on Yeah, the tucking one. This is one where you need something. <laughs> you have to do a headband again. Yeah. But it's nice that it works on this dress as well. Definitely. You've got some really lovely, like, knits that are in your colours, which is really good because it's like right underneath your face. So just have this out. Mm. There's no harm in showing that you've knit your jumper. You've not in it. This is really cute. <laughs> and the blue and the yellow make a really lovely contrast as well. Yeah, they're quite Disney princessy, like the contrast for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like this way. And the bows are really cute. It's so cute. And it goes like so perfectly. Hopefully that's giving you some more. Yeah. Options. So many good ideas. I really like them together. That's so pretty. <laughs> I just like saw it and I was like, oh, strappy dress. They are so versatile. Like, so cute. I've got some red in this one. Oh, right. Yeah. As well, yeah. 
I might have to try this one and make it the last one. <laughs> I did say I was going to finish on the jump, the yellow one, but I, this one's too cute to not crack on. <laughs> the idea was to put the yellow over the top of it. Mm. saw this and I was like, fuck, I just like the top Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to try it. <laughs> I can't not try it. <laughs> I keep seeing like more things that would go with it. Oh, this one? With this one. Oh. That would go with that one too, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like nice and cropped. Yeah. The red and the yellow is quite fun together. I know, I would have thought of that. Yeah. I'll take about that. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, I know I would have thought, I'm like, oh, she needs to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to realise that it's quite cropped as well. It really helps. Yeah, I think the cropped ones are really good for your shape. Just to like show where your waist is and you don't get too lost in the fabric. Oh, that's really nice. I'll <laughs> go try the last one. I love this. I love this too. <laughs> it's really cute. And to finish it off. Thank you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you look really cool. I really like it. <laughs> Have you worn this one in the winter before? Never. Nope. <laughs> I always wear it without anything. So I've never tried to layer it and it looks perfect layered. So. Oh, it's such a layering piece. Yeah. These spaghetti strap dresses. They are so versatile, they are like gold dust. But it's ironic because they're both from the same brand in Japan, so I bought them at the same time and I've never put them together. They so, were like meant to yeah. be with each other, but we're up in this. Yeah, when I was trying it on just now, I was like, oh yeah, these are the same brand. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this dress, you need to be doing all the combos with it. You could be having things under it, over it. Yeah. In the summer too, or the spring, you mm. could have a t-shirt yeah. underneath it. Can't see your t-shirts today. But yeah, a lot of my t-shirts are all in my like um, summer wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Just like they get cold so easily. This will give you like just the idea even to be like, oh, I can do yeah. some things with it. Ah, oh, here it is, here it is. The blue underneath it? Yeah. Like, just like how that spaghetti strap goes. Like this one would too. Yes, and then if you're a little bit cold, you could have the beige cardigan over the top. Yeah, definitely. Just sort of keep it in the blue creamy fan. This is so cute. I love this one. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd probably wear it with a jacket because this one's quite thin. Yeah. And I think maybe the beige one's best, do you think? Yeah, I think so. This one, yeah. There are, there are two that are very similar. <laughs> I mean, either. It's quite handy to have both options. I think your more pastely stuff isn't quite in the colour family of this one. Right. Yeah, it's quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, this is quite smart, I like it. A bit smart. preppy, but also still that kind of like long dress. Yeah. I, I love the little heads up to that. It's perfect. It's like they're meant to be together. Ooh. Yeah, this is perfect. I really like it. <laughs> um, you can try more things under it or over it. This could go underneath. It's really similar to the cream. So you've got that other option. You've got the blue option. Have the white underneath. Yeah. So you've got loads of options. We can try some things over the top of it as well. So the red cropped one would go perfectly over the top. Probably be a bit hot with that underneath. Yeah, definitely. But it's worth experimenting when I am, if it's a cold day out. I'll be outside a lot or something. But, um, these yeah. ones could go over the top, or easily this cropped one could go over the top. Yeah, it's so versatile. 
So if you didn't want to try them on, you can you can just sort of photograph these. Yeah, I might hold them up next to it. ones, great. I'll just hold them up. Yeah. Just maybe one at a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's mainly like for your reference. Like some people make Pinterest boards of like their outfits. I did a little yeah. college la college collage last time to yeah. help me remember because then I can just see in one image and it's really helpful in the morning. One. <laughs> oh, it's perfect with the red headband as well. Oh yeah, the two reds together. Perfect. Is it this one as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. And you can remember all of your options. Thank you. And we know now with this one that it's maybe one that you tie something yeah or belt it however you can it could be the belt and roll thing mm. where you put your belt and you just hide it underneath yeah. the belt doesn't go um this one would be perfect if that's a little thin that could pop over the top of this definitely the red with this as well yeah really nice. and then you've got this little like cream poking out and it's all in the same family yeah yeah it goes with the red one here Depending how you're feeling, you could pop this over that or over one of these undertops and then we can finally see what they look like. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay. <laughs> I keep feeling like I'm like, oh, I'll do this one last and then I get distracted. I think. <laughs> we'll end on this other okay. strappy one so you can see. That over this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I can be quick. I don't know if all of this better for this one. Hmm. We've got blue, we've got white, we've got yellow, and this look. Do you ever wear this as a hairband? No. Don't see why not. <laughs> you can just like tie it, so you can just like thread it under. Under. Or the other way. I shake. So, like being really small and like being able to sew. I'll take like dresses that are too long and then I'll cut the hem off and then I'll use it as a hairband. So you take this and then you just like put it up. Oh, okay. And then like tie it up that. Mm -hmm. This is giving very cute Alice in Wonderland vibes. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Help you look. Sorry, thank you. I had no idea you could do this. Everyone's going to be like, wow, she's so small. <laughs> it's true. I was quite small as well. I'm always surprised. Like the camera does make things seem a bit more exaggerated. I think. I think because they can only see like our top half as well. Yeah. They can't see us in context. I think someone commented on the first one saying like I was like really tall like a model. Mm -hmm. I was like no no I'm one sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the perspective of like us in front of the wardrobe who maybe look really tall for some reason. I make people look tall. <laughs> I make my. I'm not sure how tall he is, but quite small boyfriend. Look tall. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, who was that person in that anime that always had that side bow? Is it Haruki Suzumiya? Yes. <laughs> it's depressing how good my knife is in anime. <laughs> I like, loved that one growing up and for ages I was doing the same. Had the face too. Yeah, I loved her both. Yeah, it was really cute. This is what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> really in my weak days. Yes. Party, as if they ever ended. Yeah, this is really cute though. Mm -hmm. I love this dress on you. How many do you have like this? I think it is just this one and the one I just wore. Oh my god. Is that another for the list? I guess the strap dress. They are so versatile, and this, like, your legs look really long in the short one as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still need to buy on the mood board, you gave mm. me that gorgeous blue one. It might still be there. It might, so what I might do is, because I love this one mm -hmm. so much, I'll mm -hmm. buy another one of this, because I know it's going to get worn and torn, because yeah. I wear a ridiculous amount, and then I might buy that with the blue dress. And then, I might be here. <laughs> when you come next. <laughs> also check out Uniqlo because they're doing a sale right now on Edex. Oh, okay. And the green one might still be there. 
Yeah, because it wasn't there last time, was it? Yeah, they yeah. keep like updating what they've got and what they don't. Cause this one I wanted for ages and then it went out of stock and then it came back in stock and I was like, oh, oh how exciting. <laughs> yeah, I have to go on another little shopping spree before you next come. <laughs> just like send you a few more things. Gosh, I've spent so much money on clothes this year, but like it's good. It's it's given me so much more life to my wardrobe. I, hopefully it starts your year off like knowing what it is you're gonna wear. So you're like, okay, it's gonna be a stylish year. Yeah, I've definitely been getting a lot more compliments at work and stuff because oh, there's this one guy that every day he's like, which pastel is it today, Mel? <laughs> But in like a good way, because it's just like, oh, there's pastels on you, like, how, why, tell me, tell me what's going on. And I was like, oh, I had a colour consultation. <laughs> it's like, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, so it's been fun, like, bonding with people at, about it over work and them really seeing the difference as well, so, it's yeah. nice things, like, when you're feeling happy in your colours and you're, like, radiating that, like, positive energy, other people feel it. Yeah. And what's so great is I think even without makeup on, mm -hmm. I just do look a bit better in the right colour, not, not the, like there's wrong colours, but like the, the ones that suit me better. Yes. I do somehow like just look healthier. It's just so cool, like the size behind it all. It's like powerful yeah. stuff, it's yeah. crazy. I love it. This is adorable. Yeah, it's just so cute. <laughs> and is it warm enough? It is, yeah. That's good. I think, I mean, especially this room's got quite hot, yeah. so it's harder to tell, but yeah. if it wasn't, I think I would just add one of the... The blue? Blue, yeah. This blue would go again. Yeah. And it's just, it's one of those versatile dresses, just like the one we just did, but it's a little bit brighter in colour, so it gives you more room to play. So it goes with all your brighter knits. Mm -hmm. It would easily go with the purple knit, yeah. it would go with the yellow, because there's yellow. Yeah, and the definitely. Right, one there. And like, say you have the blue underneath it as well, so you can have that. Yeah, that contrast. The blue and yellow, or the blue and purple underneath yeah. it. And you can try some more things over the top of it as well. This one would go, so the red wouldn't go because it's not really in the print. The yellow, the troublesome one could go. It's oh, quite yeah, long like though. Nice. The colours are perfect, it's just it would need to either be belted with a belt that would match, okay. which would maybe be the belt that's in your hair right now, <laughs> <laughs> or a, like sort of hair tied or something like that, or secret belted. Secret belted, love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that would work really well. So all these kind of neutral ones at the top. This one would be really good over the top, mm -hmm. and it would sit perfectly. I bet, yeah. But we could have to. Mm -hmm. Not sure about that one. Not sure that it's too fibre. And you could have this one and that as well, if you did want to just hide a little bit more skin. Because mm -hmm. um, you'd still have that gap just here. Right. If you had it underneath this one. Yeah. But then you wouldn't be so hot. That's true. Because yeah. you would just have the strap. Yeah. So I think as well, like, with this one, you could have the longer ones underneath it. But if you get too hot, you could just have the strappy dresses on their own. Okay, yeah. Or you could have it with a short sleeve. Oh, that's how much to do with it. I yeah. love it. So you could have... Because they're kind of similar but different colours. So you, But they both have the yellow in them. Mm. There's a yellow here, and there's a yellow here, and they all go with the beiges, and they all go with the blue, because yeah. they both have blue in them. So blue in this one, blue in this one. So we could take more pictures with this one, mm -hmm. or if you remember how it goes, whatever you prefer. I'll take a picture of this out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's with the bow as well. That's so really cute. <laughs> cute. And if you're feeling a bit too animated up, you can just hide the <laughs> <laughs> hide the bow like hide oh. the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like oh, move that around. <laughs> and yeah. if you want to take a picture with any of the jumpers next. Yeah, yeah. Maybe hold this one up. Thank 
thank you so much for showing me all the different combinations. It's yeah. really fun trying it all on. Yeah. yeah, I love how I got to just explore all the different dresses as well and everything. So, I feel like I've learnt a lot. <laughs> thank you. Happy to help. Hello again. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to help me as well with my work clothes. Yeah, um, yeah. I know we were just talking off camera about how yeah. I really struggle with kind of professional events at work to when I'm expected to kind of wear a black suit just at least the jacket but mm -hmm. it feels a bit lifeless um a bit dark for your colouring as well much too black for me so yeah I'm a bit struggling with those sorts of things and I thought it would be really helpful to at least sort of know like a lookbook kind of style thing for work mm -hmm. just like what's good to aim for yeah <laughs> Yeah, let's see what we can do. For example, if you were wearing what you're wearing now, have mm. you ever put a blazer over the top of it? Um, no, I don't think so. Not this one. I often wear this skirt. Yeah, it's a really lovely work outfit already. I think if you had black and black, it would be too much black. But the grey okay. could be good. I think definitely something for the shopping list is some more lighter coloured blazers, but if we can get these to work a little bit. Yeah, that's already much lighter than I usually wear actually. Yeah, because there's a bit of grey in the skirt as well to pick out. Right. But then your colour is still directly underneath your face. Yeah, that's just the key. I was hoping when I put this one on just now to start with. Yeah. I was like actually maybe trying the new colours you found for me mm -hmm. will help bring life to my the work. Kind of professional stuff and yeah hopefully <laughs> yeah i think this is definitely a really good starting point i think the gray is a better way to go than the black if possible okay and it's smart as well yeah i guess the black is just quite dark against me mm -hmm. The, so the difficult thing with colour analysis is only one season suits black for winter. Right. No one else suits it, and I think especially with such a fair complexion, it can be really overpowering. Mm. So I think we want to have as little black as possible. <laughs> <I'm always laughs> the grey is better. Okay. But let's see if we can get it to work with anything lightly coloured. So let's pull out. And you wear these to work fairly often? Yeah, ever since um, like discovering the that those colours suit me, I've been really focusing on wearing them to work. Yeah. And because there is black here, mm. it would look a little bit random if there weren't black somewhere in your outfit. Okay. So these are don't have any black in them. Right. So yeah. we want your bottom to maybe be a print with a little bit of black in them. Okay. So if it's a black and the pastel, that would be great. This is the kind of like a black and white. So I think this skirt here, so it's got a teeny bit of black, it's mixing it with mm. the white, and it's quite a neutral colour, and then you've got your pop. Yeah. Here. So I think actually most of these would work. I love this together actually, the yellow and that. Yeah. It's really pretty. Got the yellow with it, the pink with it, the blues, green. Actually this one's probably a bit too oversized for it. So those kind of yeah. the skirt you have on now which would work as well. So we keep the tops a colour, the bottom a black and white. Mm -hmm. So these. It's almost like creating your little capsule <laughs> wardrobe yeah. for dinner wardrobe. Just finding a pattern that's got a teeny bit of black. Okay, if I work with it, 
Probably not for like the big events, but on a day to day I'd be fine. So maybe you want to keep it for the big event. I think the trousers, but I think they're not black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the tricky thing. We're looking for like a black and a white print. Could work. Oh, I thought of wearing that. That would work really well. Mm -hmm. So you can find a way as well to make you feel really well. I mean that one as well, it's got like a sort of one. Yeah. What's that? Okay. This one's got like a collar. Hmm. And the issue with these is they've got a collar that would go over the top. Oh. Okay. So you would see this underneath. Yeah. So if you wanted to have a jumper with it, you hmm. need the jumper to do this. Right. So that you can put this over the top. So what we're looking for with this one is do you have a jumper with just a round neck? Even a v-neck. Oh, that's quite long. Yeah, it's quite a long one. Like the length of the dress. <laughs> so it's not quite passable enough. Mm -hmm. But you would be able to then go like that with the collar up. And yeah, actually you're just wearing a not. check skirt. Mm -hmm. That's an option for these two together. <laughs> it's so fun seeing them all displayed up. They they kind of they make sense together, right? Mm -hmm. It's a dress. It is, yeah, I think the zip's a bit broken. <laughs> I have to wear it with a jacket so no one can see that the zip is broken. <laughs> I know a few people that can fix it. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a really good option. These are really good for work to have actually. Oh, I see it doesn't go, yeah, it doesn't go any further. I mean, in the time being, do you have like safety pin? Ah, uh, no. That's a thing to <laughs> can I add to the list. <laughs> yeah, that's going to the list. Safety pins are really useful, like. Just if you want to take something in even a teeny bit, sometimes right. like a shoulder might slip and you just safety pin it. Okay. Well, or like, I don't know if you ever get like your skirt sticks to your tights. Um, not too much. So like I would put like a safety pin here underneath the hem and it sticks. Oh, okay. Out. That's a little tip. Um, okay. This one, we've got a bit of orange in here. Yeah, have you found any orange pads? Oh, I love the green. These are the things we're trying to do with the black one. The blue, equally, could be quite nice. I mean, they're all working. So really it's about having a plain top and a black and white patterned bottom. Right. To make the black seem a little bit less random. Okay. Um, but the grey is obviously very versatile, so that one you'd have, like, no problem at all. Right. Like, with this outfit here, because it's this is still quite pale, you could be wearing that with your beige trousers quite easily. Oh, these ones, yeah. And just keeping it all in the light-coloured family. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think the grey is a lot easier to style, but yeah. I'm going to see if we can style the hard one. That's the grey off. I think we've got a good starting point. Yeah, it's already kind of inspiring me a bit, because yeah. it feels so much happier than the colours I was wearing with it, so... Um, whatever you want to start with. Do we want to try something just really straightforward, like um, one of the skirts and one of the tops? Yeah, these two were really pretty together, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try that. Quite cute. Yeah. 
And even the pink jumper you've got on right now. Oh yeah, I could do that actually and then just switch. Yeah, switch jumpers. That would be quite quick actually. Perfect. I think it would actually go with either blazer, like grey or black. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> I mean, I wear black a lot more, I think. Yeah. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's definitely smart enough as well. Yeah. I mean, that's a perfectly, like, smart skirt as well. It's got that mm. fun check, it's that nice shape, it looks quite stretchy and comfy. Yeah. Your colour's in the middle, your colour yeah. is centrally your face, and then the black is just the side. Yeah, I like it. Have you tried a combo like this before? Nope. <laughs> this is very much like better, I think. Yeah. And I'm sure it would go with the grey as well, but I actually think the black is really good in this occasion. Yeah, the black is harder to style for me as well, so it's helpful going over it. Similarly, you could have your check on the blazer, so you could have a black and white check blazer like your skirt. Oh, ooh. So flip it around, Yeah. then your bottom is plain. Okay. So your bottom is the black or your bottom is the stone colour. Yeah. Yeah, and these two are perfect together, right? They are. And I love this yellow, I just, I really like yellow. It makes me feel so happy. Brightens it up. Yeah. Yellow and black is something I don't see often. <laughs> Bumblebee. <laughs> so <I'm often. laughs> yeah. Perfect. And it's really like actually quite a versatile, easy wardrobe, and it's quite easy to remember, right? Yeah. I like what you're saying. Like it is kind of like a capsule wardrobe, and quite helpful to just see which goes with which, like visually. So like. So if you want to try them on or not, but you can just see here. Mm. Well, see, this is a bit too dark. Okay. Because of the black blazer. So this right. would be better with the grey blazer. Can you see how dark this has become now? Right. But because that one's got white with the black and it's such a small print, it's yeah. still quite bright. Mm. It's quite dark as well. Yeah. See, now we're seeing it's just a bit too dark. If it were white with the black floral. Right. But these two would work, I think, with the grey blazer. Mm. So it would be grey blazer, black skirt. Right. So it's, I think what we'll do is we'll organise them on the rail. Let's see. It's a tricky blazer. I mean, that skirt's probably going to work very hard for you. I actually have trousers just like this. I'll grab this for you. Thank you. Maybe you want to also hold like a coloured jump with it. Perfect. And then this one's just a, a green one I wore the other day too. Mm. These ones. Yeah, I think that's useful. But I think we want to keep your pastels yeah, in the middle. I'll put them here then. So I think if we can keep the grey and the black to the blazers and the bottoms. Okay. And then get your colour right there underneath your face. So if we were to play with this one here, I think that would actually work really well. Hmm. It's because it's similar to the black and white, it's just black and blue. Oh. And the yellow and the blue look quite good and then the black ties in the blazer. Yeah. So that would definitely work. Even still the pink and the blue. blue. So really like these are kind of very similar. 
Categorizing it is going to help you a little bit. These are a combo with any brightly coloured top. Okay. These are kind of a combo. Then we can try some of these. How often do you wear this one? Um, I haven't worn it that much yet. Maybe mm -hmm. once or twice since I got it. This one with the black blazer. And then maybe just like a white underneath it. Do you have the um, white top from earlier? Yeah. Does that would help? Yeah, that would be perfect. That's mm -hmm. really pretty actually. Yeah, that's really cute together. Yeah. Yeah, I might try that one. Yeah. you might be thinking the pink is a little bit too loud so it might just be just the pink in the dress is enough. Yeah, this one's a lot comfier actually. I guess. I can't see it one. Oh, yeah, that's great. And you've got so much light underneath, it's just perked it right up. Yeah, and then it definitely looks smart. Yeah. Yeah. I never would have thought of trying this one. So oh. I'm glad. Yeah. And it does match with the tights, I guess. Yeah. Because I always end up wearing the tights too. Yeah. You've got that teeny bit of black in the middle that just kind of justifies it, but it's so light as well as that. Hmm. It's smart. Yeah, it's pretty smart. These like pinafores are really good for workwear because it's kind of still suity. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> So I was looking at what we can do with the dress. Just where these came in. Because I think the main thing we've got is this collar. Right. Because in the summer you could just easily have it underneath the blazer as is, right? Mm. Yeah. But in the winter, so I was looking for jumpers without a collar. This one's just a round one here. Mm -hmm. So this could go underneath. And you've just got like a little pink sleeve coming. Right. And it's under the blazer, so if you don't want it to be seen, it won't be seen, but you'll still be kind of warm enough. Yeah. Or you've got the red over it because it's thick enough that it can go over the top. Mm. And then you just kind of pull the little colour out. Yeah. Or you could have a cardigan with that as well. Do the cardigan up and have the blazer, I don't know if you'd be too warm. Oh, yeah. So I was looking for which ones were kind of thin enough to go underneath and still in your colours. Right. So that's an option too. That sounds quite fun. It's not something I usually try. So. Yeah. Uh, so do you, you put the dress on and then do that up and mm -hmm. then put the black blazer on? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It might be one of those ones where it might be a crazy idea and we have to see when it's on. That's quite interesting. But I could definitely give it a 
I think I think I'd like to try that. Like yeah. not for trying the ones I wouldn't usually try. I think. Yeah. More find more interesting combinations that way. Yeah. changes. Yeah, because now it's really useful and I guess I got in the habit of not wearing it because I didn't need it. Yeah. yeah. So I do this for now. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't even have to because it's so thin it can just be a sneaky one. Yeah, it has some warmth. Almost like when it's done up, it's like you've got a waist, waistcoat on. <laughs> yeah. But it's still that pop of colour, which is really nice. It really helps add some colour, yeah. Yeah. I think that's really good. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a weird idea. I'm wondering if it's still work. We could add even more fun to this. Lift up your black collar. It's just an experiment. <laughs> Because you've got this print. <laughs> so cute. You're liking this ribbon today? <laughs> Look at this. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh that's adorable. <laughs> There's a little fur. <laughs> I've kind of made it like it's almost like a school uniform. <laughs> it does, it does feel like that actually. Like very preppy. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it just would like give it a little bit more like as much of your colours into your outfit like subtly because <laughs> like if you had a little necklace there it would just get lost I think right. but there was some kind of gap that I was like we need to treat the gap mm -hmm. <laughs> it might be a bit of a thick ribbon though I'm not sure if it's too thick it's so cute <laughs> it's off the song for you It's an option. You might be like, okay, I'll do the outfit without the crazy bow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun though to try. Yeah. I can look back at it and see how it looked in person and can Because without it, there's just something kind of like. And the blue drop that would have been nice, but I just don't think it's got on that. Oh, the necklace. Okay. Yeah, I can try to hold it up and the camera a bit. Yeah, I think that would get lost your right. eyes. Yeah. It's just like creatively. What can Oh, it's like Disney bow. <laughs> so cute. I mean, it needs something to clip onto, but that would be another use of the safety pin. Oh. You could just like safety pin it. Like, yeah. A little bit. Just a little bit bigger. actually really hideable. Yeah, just and like, it's just nice and warm. Yeah, and then that's the only proper colour they see. Yeah. That would be perfect. 
Maybe you hold this and I'll photograph it. And then we'll just put it. <laughs> safety pin on the list. Yeah, it's a really nice, just like simple pop of your colours. It has like half the brightening up, so like quite dark. Yeah. Nice. But if you did get a colour blazer, that would also be perfect. Yeah, so one of these, yeah. I think when you said babies, really, that mm. kind of gorgeous. It'd still be really smart. I think the navy. Yeah, yeah, navy suit. <laughs> Just <laughs> reminds me of the video. <laughs> there was like a moment of silence as we both realised. <laughs> yep, we both thought about it. I still haven't watched it, I don't know what it is. I think I want to know. If you know, you'll be self-aware of it. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> just keep laughing. It's just a soup video. <laughs> <laughs> this could be too thick to go underneath. Like, how thick is this right now? This is quite thin, so it's not too hot. I can imagine mm. this one's a bit more warm. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just like, does the blazer have room? What mm. other, like, thin cardigans do you have? I think the yellow one is my thinnest, probably. So that might be the one combination you can do with this one. Yeah, I think luckily if I am going to a professional, like the event stuff, I end up like getting quite hot because oh, it's like brilliant. So you nuts. can take it off and yeah, then you've so got your yellow. I'm not that as worried about being cold, but like that. Yeah. Um. Then yeah, there's also the option of having this underneath, mm. and then you've just got the sleeve poking out. Yeah. And then the other option is the red on top. Yeah, I should try that because I can just do it here, I guess. Yeah. But thank you, this is so fun seeing all the different ones. Oh, so oh, much fun. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it too. <laughs> I'm happy it can be useful, that's just always my main goal. Yeah. It really does help. I feel like it's almost like training in a way, like training my eye to see things yeah. in new ways. Oh yeah, this is great. There's, take that out. Yeah, there's way more colour there. And it's not like your pastel, mm -hmm. but it's still a colour. Yeah. And black, white and red is just like classic, right? Mm -hmm. And the fit's quite nice, it kind of crops you quite perfectly. Yeah. I like how it looks like it's up here with the skirt. Yeah. I'll have to put it on just to see. So maybe in the shopping list we need like a few more round necky kind of jumpers because you have a lot of collars and ties and things like that mm -hmm. and then if you have a round you can just yeah take things out of it yeah because with these polo oh, necks you though. can't like really yeah I have a lot of high necked things in there yeah oh, this is I really like this it looks really smart it does and you're right that it's it's not my red but it's still helping me so much yeah. Mm, to get that nice into it. Pack it up even more, <gasps> I think. Yeah, I loved this necklace last time we bought it. Thank you. Well, I might need your help actually <laughs> at the back. Just take my hair out. I think if we can find like, just as many ways to subtly perk up a look. <laughs> yeah, just tuck it underneath the collary bit. Similar to that crazy bow idea. <laughs> but it won't get lost because you've got the red jumper that's plain. Oh, right, yeah, so it's against the red. Yeah. Yeah, so it just yeah. brightens up the red as well and makes that less harsh. Because mm. it's quite a deep red for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, really pretty. I think mean, this one's my favourite so far. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm really glad we've like reworked like an old fit form dress into something like yeah. It feels like yeah, it's really timeless. Like you wouldn't know how old it is. It's just a really useful yeah, dress. The house tube is always so useful for wear. I think yeah, and it's smart. It's a really mm. smart print. Yeah, thank you. Oh well, yeah. I feel like very similar. We're kind of getting a vibe of how to make it work, and I think. So these are really similar, right? Mm. This one you can pretty much pop any colour underneath it and it will be fine. Mm. The cream would be fine. The green. <laughs> the blue. 
pink even. And then you've got the blazer. Yeah. So it kind of goes in that kind of check category. Um, so yeah, up to you if you want to try it. If not, we can just take a few pictures of the rails so you can see how I've like grouped it together. And then you can use that for reference. Yeah, we can take some pictures of it. You are. Sounds good. Um, so maybe if you want to get into your normal clothes, and then I can arrange this for you. Okay. Take some um, pictures. <laughs> I'll just choose something that's not on there to get back into, because I think the clothes I started in are all. Oh yeah, I think they are. <laughs> So with the grey, that one is really good if you just want to do an all light coloured outfit. Okay. So if you wanted to do like the grey, your new mint skirt and a right. pink jumper or yellow jumper, because the grey kind of lets you just be all pastel. Okay, that's good to know because I wouldn't have realised that at all. So maybe I'll group that together for you as well. Just so we can see this one here. did focus in on the black but then I think that was the hardest one. Yeah I think if you say the grey, like grey was just going to go with the pastel that's quite easy to work out, the black yeah. was really hard to work out by myself. So the grey would just give you permission to have completely light coloured out. It's been really fun actually I think. I think this would be interesting to try yeah. to where to work with the grey. Have you done that before? No, not since buying it. I've always worn it on the ca more casual day, like, days with like the green one. Yeah, so you could do like the green and green and then the grey. Yeah, yeah. It was a very smart still. Did you manage to get like any nude or plain coloured shoes? Um, no, not yet, no. Shoes are the one thing I haven't been buying. Shoes are very tricky. I struggle <laughs> myself. Yeah, I think, yeah, I always just had it wearing trainers. And then at work I have. I do have some plain white ones. Actually, I have nude heels, but they're at work. Oh, I they're just see. not here. Yeah. So for your all grey pastel outfit, yeah, that one should be the nude heel nude or the heel. white shoe. Okay. Just like all plain, because it'd be such a shame that we're avoiding black and then we've got like a black, black shoe. shoe. Yeah. Okay. Because then it would take away from the colour for the outfit. 
So I think if you are doing a, like a smart day, mm. where you've got like this and you're green and you're green, then it's like a cream or white or a nude shoe. Right, okay. Just so the focus isn't on the shoe. Um, similar like this can go, so you could have this and this and this, mm. this and this and yellow. Oh, I love it with yellow. Pink, white. I mean, the white's really straight. Yeah. The scarf's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's got some lovely checks. Those are really good for work. Yeah, H&M to pass. <laughs> Sasuga. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I think that's going to confuse things because we'll just put that back okay. with your pencils that are in here. And you've got your, um, these as well. That pastel yeah, pastel that's pastels. Okay. But there's the easy one. So these are all your coloured tops to play with. Mm. And then your check dresses to play with and your check bottoms. So actually it will be even easier for you. These are kind of the same thing, because they're just giving you a check base. And if you arrange this. So these are a thing. Okay. So they're more black and whitey ones with the grey, and then any of these colours. And then your checks with a colour and black. Thank you. So helpful. <laughs> Happy to help. Yeah. Hopefully this would be helpful for the there. What I might do is do a little bit of Photoshop. Just like write some stuff on top of ah, it. Ah, yeah, that'd be really useful. This, this has turned out very helpful, hasn't it? Yeah. Really take things out of the wardrobe and make it really cuts your wardrobe. Just to make it really organised. Would you use it like if you had like a work week just to like Sunday night? Yeah, plop, plop, plop I think for the whole week ahead. It could be really helpful to just make yeah all five outfits in advance, and then once I've experimented, can put the back in at the side maybe because this one does uh, fold down, so mm -hmm. it's probably good for experimentation time. Yeah. But you're I right, have this one. like yeah, I'm, I would just be using it every week. Oh, okay. Recommend it's really useful. Yeah. Just put it down and pack it away. Yeah, like you said, I could just have fun with it and yeah. have a drink or something while I play with the clothes. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever you need, like just have something <laughs> in the background. A podcast, a TV. Super Junior. Exactly. <laughs> um, so the list, I'll send you like a neat version of the list. These are just like okay. my scribbles. Coloured belts. I, I think. think. In yeah. general, I'll maybe like actually like give some more examples. But thinking like a beige could be really good, mm. a brown, maybe a few more colours, like a pink. <laughs> oh, a pink would be nice. A white, that would be really good. Um, coloured blazers, so a beige, a blue, maybe a check one, so you can do that reverse check. So if you were to have like a beige or a blue, then you don't need necessarily to do this. You can do your entire look almost like this, but even brighter. Right. So say you had like a beige, you could go like beige, green, green. Yeah. Or like beige, pink, stone. Beige would be so lovely with that. Yeah. yeah. And it just gives you permission to wear all of your like pas more pastely things, maybe some of the pastely dresses even underneath it. Yeah. Um, the baby blue could be lovely. It's almost like just a smarter version of your cardigans. Yeah, definitely. I think baby blue. I also really want a baby blue coat. So yeah. That goes well. Um, some more spaghetti strap dresses. We were saying some more under tops. Um, maybe like. If you see like another white and black print bottom in mm. this kind of family, just if you see one. Yeah. Like these, where it's quite equal black to white kind of ratio or something with a bit of. Okay. Like this kind of thing, or this kind of thing, your travels. Um, yeah, I think that's the main. Yeah. So far. Well, thank you, it's really helpful. I feel like 
I've learned a lot about how to style for work. It's yeah. really useful. And also just, yeah, daily life as well. The past are just the love of my life right now, I think. They are going to work so hard for you in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And thank like, you for I, Yeah, I really appreciate you coming and uh, showing my wardrobe each time. But um, if you guys would like to see anything in the future, please do let us know suggestions down in the comments so we can see what's possible to do together. So any ideas are appreciated.